Oh, the pre-show has begun. This is Horseplay Episode 19, the true essence of gaming, hashtag Retro Friday. Getting back to the roots of gaming, to the true spirit of gaming. Right, we got a special guest, but we're not going to blow the load just yet. This is the pre-show. <laughs> I think Obi heard You don't want to blow your load, Yogi? Shh. You weren't supposed to hear that part. What's today? Today's the April 27th? 24th? Yeah, 24th. I heard it here first. No, 24th. Wow. I'm jumping ahead. Yeah, you are. Yeah. This is the uncut version, yo. You get the full bloopers, the outtakes, and all the shizzles in between. Oh, shit. And, and Obi Shucks. saying, oh, shit. Alright, we're going to be starting here in about a couple minutes. Obi's going to count us down and get the music started. Alright, I'm going to... Yep, right now. And we're going to try to stick to a schedule. <laughs> so we can get to the good yeah, stuff. And free that's ball. That's the thing, dude. Try to stick to a schedule. Attempt. Try. Attempt. I can't do it. Can you help me figure it out for a moment? You used that gag already. Last week. I wasn't uh, here, though. Oh, that's I true. That's true. He gets it's a pass. Fresh for, it's fresh for me. It's okay. It's ruined now. <laughs> it is. <laughs> we got gaming death that's been in the chat since he started his show at like nine. Are you serious? You changed the freaking. I told you I did. <sighs> I didn't hear it. I said that several times. I said I even texted you. I didn't, I didn't feel that the title went along with what we want. We're gonna talk about. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I guess. We also got, uh, so we got Gaming Death in here, and Deckard C, who have, hopefully will be able to get his, uh, we're gonna play his voicemail as part of the dust off, I think. Make sure I got that in there. Yes. We are prepared. Yeah, I'm not because I have the changes and I was stupid earlier uh, in thinking that I could just come in real fast and do it. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. All right, guys. <sighs> There we go. How, how, how many different chats do we have now? Like freaking 20. All right, here we go, guys. Starting it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And welcome back. This is Horseplay. Welcome back, guys. Yogi, I just like totally screwed that up or something because it's still playing in the background for some reason. Yeah, it, it will cue it, it cues up whatever you have in that list. So that's the way it's set up. I'm, I'm working on fixing that. 
better fix and it of, now. And of course, I have the. You gotta fade it out. Uh, you gotta fade it out just in case. Yeah, I I didn't fade it out for some reason. So anyway, welcome back, guys. This is episode nineteen. I'm still hearing it for some reason. Anyway, this episode nineteen, the true essence of gaming. Hashtag Retro Friday. Welcome, guys. As you guys can see, I just want to do something here. I know we got to get to it because we're on we're on some kind of a time time constraint today. As you guys can see, the overlay. You guys recognize this overlay from when we first started. Yeah, the camera is a little bit iffy, right? For me, anyway. If you guys like it, let us know. But you guys see right down there, oh, right down there on the bottom right hand, left hand corner, soldierism. This guy text me and says, hey, uh, how's horseplay going? And I was like, wait a minute, it's Thursday night. He hasn't texted me in a week. <laughs> uh, I bet he wants to be on the show. So I said, Yogi, guess what? He's like, what? I might have Soldier coming on the on the show tonight. He's like, oh my god. <laughs> Prepping. <laughs> <Plus prep. laughs> so, so me and Yogi got on the me and Yogi got on Skype for what was it, like an hour earlier trying to prep everything. <laughs> but I am joined by, of course, with by Yogi Zilla up there, top left hand corner, and of course our old soldiers. We took a day off of work today. Mm -hmm. Took a personal day. What is that? How? What's that called? Uh, they call it PT. I used a PTO day for it. Personal time off. Still get paid. I just have to call in like 15 minutes before work starts. I thought and PTO is P paid time off as opposed to UTO. I think it was the same both ways. I get paid. I'm not there. I'm happy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but if you guys are new to horseplay, we are live every Thursday at 11 p.m. EDT. Okay. I got yelled at last week for that. On no Twitch way. channels Obi One X Two and Yogi Zilla, <laughs> both on Twitch. Uh, if you guys do want to watch both of those streams at the same time, go to multitwitch.com and just type in Obi One X Two and Yogi Zilla, and you can watch us both at the same time. So it'd be cool too. We're also hanging out, of course, on allgames.com, and it's just and of course uh, irc.gamesurge.net, and of course always. As always, dude, you know what I didn't put up on the on the overlay? What? Geekyantics.com. You guys come check us out. That's I put it up there, didn't I? I thought I that's did. That's a hub. That's our hub. No. Well, oh yeah, it is right there. It says .net, but we have .net, .com. That's our HQ, guys. Come check us out. And of course, if you guys want to leave us a voicemail, 206-415-4987 and as, of course, too, you guys can see right below me. I see, of course, a lot for some reason. But anyway, as you guys see right <laughs> below me, you guys see all our information. The Geeky Antics Facebook page, of course, myself and Yogi Zilla's YouTube page and our Twitch TVs are the same. And, of course, our Geeky Antics at Yogi Zilla and at Obi-Wan X2 right here on Twitter. And right next to Soldier, you guys can hit him up on Twitter anytime at Soldierism. Okay? Right, right, right. Yeah, we're going good. Anyway. <laughs> I believe that is correct. Yes, you believe that is correct. All right, just making sure, but you know, I just want to make sure. But if you guys do, for some reason, you guys want to listen to the, uh, for some reason, next Thursday at 5 p.m., I want everybody, <laughs> this is what I want for everybody to do. I want you guys to go on allgames.com next Thursday at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Okay, and this is the show. If you guys just want to help, say, hey, what's up? What's going on? Myself, I will be in chat. Yogi Zilla is always in chat. We're going to be conversating with you guys. If you guys have any questions of what we talked about or what, we'll explain it. That's awesome. We just want to get you guys more people involved, as, as many people as possible, right? I'm with it. But, of course, last but not least, like I said before, you guys can check us out. Geeky Antics Network Global Site, Gang for short. We're in full effect, as we always have been. I say it every week. I don't even know why I'm still in there, but I read this script lately, so he's got me saying shit that I probably don't want to say later. <laughs> so it is in full effect, guys. You guys can check us out. Everything is there. The blog that Yogi does, we have a few. Uh, we guys want you guys to get uh, you know involved with us. We want to interact with you guys. You know, when we have gaming. Uh, what we're doing with like uh, you know our fans when we're having uh, gameplay you know playthroughs and we're live streaming and, and everything like that that's all on eheantics.net.com both of them work yogi 
How was your week this week, man? Good. I'm a little frustrated right now because Twitch is being a real dildo. And not in a good way. <laughs> please, Pete. Whoa. Hey, what's going on, man? I'm just going to say please your name. I got something in the chat. Please. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. I was yeah, I, I saw that name. And then and I swear the moment they what joined the chat. What have you guys been doing since I've been gone? You kind of... <laughs> Dude, we've been getting proud. We've been, <laughs> every, we've, been getting, we've been getting trolled. <laughs> every yeah, every week we get apparently R. Kelly fans, and you fill in the blanks, and, or we get uh, people that are into strange things you could do with farm animals. So <laughs> that's a, that's all I'm gonna say. But yeah, I had a good week. Uh, we got we made a lot of big strides we're we're getting our systems down pat with the audio quality getting the levels um kind of good with the audio and it's all thanks to the feedback we get from everyone very a lot of constructive criticism and good advice we get feedback there uh we're trying we're getting we're trying out some new things soundboards and new music loops and mm-hmm. all kinds of fancy schmancy stuff so and that, I, I'm excited. Oh, and, and we and we hung out with Will Whedon virtually. <laughs> yes. Will yes. 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 It's on the Geeky Antics fan page. We were dude, we had, we attended the Q and A Q&A with him. We are moving up in the world, dude. Yeah, okay. but but then it gets sold to like thousands of other people. So I guess we're not hey, that soldier, cool. how is it way back there? <laughs> <laughs> Will Whedon replied to my tweets before. I wanted to say that. <laughs> yeah. Hey. <laughs> Name dropping. Name dropping. Go get a job. <laughs> you better tell her. You better start doing that MK. That's right. <laughs> Do something. Make some money so I can get back to this. I miss this badly. <laughs> well, I, I was just telling uh, uh, Obi last week that I was listening to old episodes. That I have so many videos on YouTube and Twitch that I have to sort through, like, change the descriptions on it, tag them, and change the licenses and all this crap you have to do. And the I listened to episode, uh, I think, 7, the last one you did with us. Yeah. And it was like uh, fair, a farewell to soldierism, something like that. And, mm. uh, man, that was one of the most wild episodes we had. It was great. Most of you, too. We must have been all on, on uppers or something. I don't know what was going on. Yeah, I did a couple. Never mind. Anyway, I... <laughs> Wow, I, I have I have something that you know how you guys were always talking about oh the uh, the Obi on the potty or whatever the hell you guys were calling it on the potty on the podium Obi on the potty I want to do podium. that and it's what I want to do and this is something that I really feel like I because I watch a lot of different streams and are you moving your mic closer to you you yeah, are they said in the chat that I'm quiet wow you're loud I, as hell for me am I still quiet. Well, lower your lower your volume. Maybe it's your headphones. I mean, you get freaky surround sound headphones. You probably got like ten drivers in each ear. Everything's gonna be loud for you. Someone drops a pin, and you're gonna be like, "It's everywhere." He'll hear a pin and be like, "Oh, that's that's one cent." There's probably point two three grams of copper. I do sense a bit of zinc in that. <laughs> that, that, that you know it's a rare occasion if I'm quiet I'm, I'm the quiet one there's something wrong with the world I'm usually the loudest one I have to actually turn down my bits during the show it, it's it's them jeans man it's them jeans but anyway I get excited the potty. I'm wearing shorts by the way not jeans I'm a potty oh my god I'll be on the potty what I want to do for this and if you give me like five minutes every week and I'll explain it to you right now but basically for five minutes every week I'm gonna go around Okay, this is for everybody. If you're a streamer, get on your stream. Get send me a um, a message on Twitch and say, "Hey, come visit my stream." Once a week, I'm gonna find one person. Once a week, I'm gonna find one person throughout the week that I'm gonna get a shout out to right here on Horseplay, which is gonna give you guys, you know, who if you guys, you know, guys, we're not just you know tiny tiny Horseplay anymore. We're we're on allgames.com. You know how many people are going to hear about your channel? Dude, that's what it is. So if you guys want to do that, you guys want to get that shout out, go ahead, send me a message on Twitch. Real fast, I do have one. Is that okay, yo? Can I do it real quick? No. No. We do have a shout out segment, but I'll let you get away with it. All right, nope. I'm going to do it then, then. <laughs> I was just going to do it for my, this is my OB on the podium. 
kind of segment. Oh, we're bringing that back? Oh, this God. This is my weekly, you know, I'm going to go around weekly, and just all the streams that I, I visit, we're just going to give them, you know, give them a, a few, like two minutes. Give them a quick shout-out for, hey, man, this is a really good stream, or, or, a, a, or a really crappy stream. Okay. Bye. All right, so you share yours. I got one too, then. Oh, you know what? We'll do it then. All right, the one stream in this, I told this guy this, and he hasn't replied to me yet. So I'm going to see if he's actually going to even not even be watching, but just hear this. If Castro, if anybody knows Castro underscore 1021, he plays PlayStation 4, I believe. Yeah, I know, dude. It's really funny. It is. But. I'm I'm you guys could check, check him out. Like I said, it's Castro underscore one zero two one, and then his uh, Twitter, is, of course, is at Castro one zero two one. You guys check him out. He has a really good stream. He plays at PS four. Wait, there is it Xbox. Oops. Oh, oh it doesn't matter. No, it's Fail. PS4. Oh, they're not smart. He plays Wii. Okay. No, he plays Wii. He does play PS four. But if you guys want to check him out, he plays uh, the two K. He plays the. Uh, so the FIFA, some other stuff, and and uh, he has his girlfriend and her, her fiance on there all the time, which is really cool. So Castro, awesome stream, dude. Uh, I'm gonna give you that shout out, just because. I mean, it was it was really entertaining because he was getting trolled really really hard, and it was really funny. Yogi, okay. who's your streamer of the week? Um, I got two. Uh, what? Can two? I do? Can I do three? Can there's three? Right. That there's soldier. Soldier, he's taking yours. All right, yeah, man, I don't I don't watch streams anymore. I'm too busy working my butt off. <laughs> curse. All right, so one is Gravesy Games, and he's over in the UK. Really good guy. Uh, he's really engaging, which is rare. You get a lot of Twitch players. We talked about this last week, episode 18. You get a lot of Twitch players that are just kind of like playing their game, and it could be a very slow-paced, turn-based thing, and they're still not talking or doing any kind of engagement, like not even singing a song. I mean, do something. Fart. I don't care. Singing a song. Yeah, I mean, do something. Uh, entertain me. Come on. I'm taking time out of my streaming to watch your stream. <laughs> so, Gravesy Games, he's a really good guy, and we're probably going to be doing some collaboration. He's a lot of Hearthstone and <laughs> whatnot. Uh, what else? Um, also, in our chat, Gaming Death, they do a show on... Uh, yeah, they're talking about the audio quality still. But anyway, yeah, uh, Gaming Death, they do, they do a, a podcast right before us. Uh, also on Twitch at uh, 9 p.m. Eastern, and we're at 11 p.m., so it's perfect. And uh, we're going to try to get them over at Geeky Antics with us, officially. So we're, we're in the works with that, but they're in the chat with us right now. And they got like a four-man show, I believe. I think those are, they got four go get, uh, hosts that are always on there. I'm listening to a few episodes, good stuff. Uh, Neo Jake was on there, too. And the other one is um, one that probably everyone knows that watches Hearthstone, is the Angry Chicken on A-Move TV. Uh, they do some good stuff. And they really dig deep into Hearthstone, like deep. Like when I like when I go off on a rant, and then you guys are like, "Please, Yogi, stop. Let's move on." Okay, I'm gonna move on now. <laughs> you just killed the moment. Thank you, Obi. You're welcome. He yes. destroyed the magic moment. Yeah, I was. I, I was. This magic moment. <gasps> I'm giving love to my fellow <laughs> Twitch your peeps. Lips are close to mine. Wow. I, that, that's, that's really um, that's so yeah. <laughs> that's the end of the song right there. Yeah. Um, Yogi's mic is loud. It's just all messed up. Obi's side. Yeah, Obi. I think I think you have the Skype levels. This Skype does this. If you don't go in and change it under tools options, it does this thing I where. Did. It auto adjusts your volume levels. I didn't, dude. It's you, not checked. It has never been checked. And do you have the the speakers all the way up? No. If I turn them all the way up, dude, do you know how bad it's gonna be? Well, turn it up higher than what it is now. Okay. We, Cause we sound lower than you. He's just he just wants to give me more work to do when editing. No, 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 no. That's not my goal. I'm i my goal is to not go deaf during the show. So you turn down your local audio. Come on. Uh, just what you hear, in, unless you have a monitor in to the mixing board, what you hear is not what the audience hears. I know. Skype is all the way up, though. Can you guys hear him better now or what? I mean, really, seriously. 
I, 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 this is this is something, and 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 we're not gonna sit here and dwell on the sound because that's just not gonna happen. Mm-mm. But I swear to God, I, you know what? Let's just keep going. Is the sound good, guys? Because if it is, awesome. If not, we're what's gonna keep we, going tonight. What's week as we go along? I, I just have to do lots of editing. Thanks, Obi. Thanks, Obama. Well, with what you said earlier. <laughs> Wow. Do I even look like that retard? Or that... Oh, we know, let's not get into politics. You know, people get really touchy with that. I, let's not I, touch I, politics. I'm in a sour mood about politics. Wait, 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 wait. I'm not talking about politics. I'm talking about the man that is the retard, okay? I'm not talking about his position. If he's a Democrat or Republican, you can be either or and still be a retard. Mm-hmm. Let's get that straight right now. We're not talking politics. I won't do that. <laughs> Not to you guys. Not right and now. Soldier is just gonna argue with me no matter what I say. So it's not gonna. Yeah. No, no, I will not argue no matter what you say. <laughs> oh, they said it's a little better, Obi. But I think you should just pl- put the speaker volume it's all the way, all up. way up. It's turned all the way up, and oh, I okay. had you guys turned down on my mixer. That's all I can do. I mean, well, I can turn me down on a mixer it. or your volume on your headset. Hmm. My you mixer. Got, you got freaking the, the look. You chance. got you got a THX theater, IMAX style, all up in your ears, blowing out your eardrums. I mean, I can't fart without yes. it hurting your ears. I turned it down already, but when I turn it down, everything goes down. It's all like right. a master value. That's all it is, dude. I'm sorry. I'm gonna. Everything's I'm gonna, better now. I got it. We're good. I'm moving the robot penis away from my mouth. Let's let's, let's move on. Let's move on, dude. The robot penis. Just, just put it in your mouth, dude. That's you just deserve it. Hey, if you really, if you really want to be safe, do it like South Park. Remember, you He's gotta go do reverse. It. He's oh, <laughs> you gotta do it reverse. You gotta smoke out your butthole. That's the way they did it back in the South Park. <laughs> All right, let's go. For those that are not watching the live show, um, we're you're lucky. Very, very, very <laughs> we're being very, very disgusting. But anyway, tonight on the show. <laughs> Yogi, dude, you gotta do this. I miss this. All right, anyway. (laughs) Yes, we do. We miss you as well. But you guys can leave us a voicemail, 206-415-4987. We will play it and respond to the messages live on Horseplay here. You can email us at geekyantics at gmail.com, and uh, we'll respond respond during Horseplay Live, uh, no matter where it's at, if it's uh, the voicemail or even uh, on our on our uh, website. Yogi, you want to tell them a little bit about what tonight's show is about? Yeah, so tonight uh, we're going to be kicking off uh, a Retro Friday series on and off where we're going to not just talk about retro gaming and indie games. We're going to talk about the true essence, essence of gaming, the, the spirit of gaming, what, what makes a true gamer, why we're passionate about this as geeks, stuff like that. And uh, again, it'll be on and off, but eventually what I'd like to lead up to is a real kind of Know Your Roots episode, which is, this was going to be that, but I want to make sure we have good guests for that that are really into the retro scene. We can talk about some of the classic games and some of the games that play uh, are, are like a homage to those old classics that we love or hate, depending who you are. And that's pretty right. much it. And we, Oh, and we'll also talk about pixel art, because some people have a thing against pixel art, and they think they swear it's you know, for hipsters, but we'll, t- we'll talk more about that. Mhm. It sounds good. Now, so well, I don't want to get there. Gaming death, dude. We'll see you later, dude. Uh, go ahead and check out the rest of the cast here later on. Um, it'll be there, of course, next week, Monday at five p.m. on allgames.com. That's right. Hey, leave it alone, man. <laughs> but we are going to keep it raw, guys. We're getting right back to just the true essence. I mean, this is what we want to talk about. Man crushes and geek girls. This is a segment that I always say the title, but I never know what it's about. Man crushes and geek girls is our seg- is our guest segment. It says in the parentheses. I'm this is joking, where dude. you I'm, bastard. I'm, I'm creating dialogue with you, which is getting you riled up. Is my whole goal tonight? Because we we don't have to derail the show. Our chat is going to do that for us. Right. So anyway, I will say that the chat has more chat in it right now than it did all the episodes I did with you guys. You guys come a ways. You missed last week. Last um, week, I think. 
<laughs> yeah, we're not gonna let him come away. <laughs> no, stop it! Ah, uh, he stopped in it. No, last week was crazy. I think we hit like what forty viewers or something. I mean, that's for us. That's a big deal. <laughs> yeah, at one time it was a live show. Yeah, I mean, we get uh, we get lots of listens, which is really really awesome for this. Yeah, you know, all the support that we get for you on you know on on talk show, Stitcher, iTunes. I mean, just freaking just. That's amazing in itself. I mean, we were mm -hmm. just talking about iTunes with you, weren't we, John? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I haven't checked the stats recently, but last time we were doing pretty well. And speaking of which, make sure you leave us uh, some comments, some reviews, thumbs up, all that stuff. We're on all that stuff. Any, any way you can listen to podcasts, we're on there. And, of course, allgames.com. Make sure you go there, show some love to that site. And the community over there is awesome. So, yeah, Man Crushers and Geek Girls. If you want to be a guest or suggest your favorite man crushes or geek girls or both at the same time, whatever, the more the merrier. Just contest us, contest us via Twitter, All Games, or the official gang site. We have a blog on, on All Games you can leave comments on, so we're all over the place. And the gang site is uh, Geeky Antics Network Global. That's geekyantics.net or geekyantics.com, whichever one you prefer. And we'd love to hang out with you. Just, you know, we, make, we do ask that you follow... Stick to our, our script a little bit. Like, we don't have a script, but we have a structure, sort of topic we want to hit. And we do, do try to stay a little on topic. Otherwise, we'll never stay within the two-hour period and, and get anything done. Um, and be sure to check out episode 17 when we have Matt Bradford. He joins us for our derailment bonanza extravaganza. See, I, I rebranded it for you, Obi. It's one of our favorite episodes, uh, along with uh, episodes 10 and 11, where uh, ZombieCast, also from All Games, join us for the unofficial Zombie Talk series. We talk a lot about The Walking Dead and other stuff, uh, zombie and horror related. And uh, if you have any favorite uh, episodes and guests, let us know. You know you know the details, where to re reach us, voicemail and all that good stuff. Obi just said them. And if you're watching live, you can see it on the video stream. We got all the information on our super dope layout on Twitch. We're almost professional here, almost. So close. So close. So close. Yet so far away. Obligatory news! Hearthstone Fireside Gathering are here, guys. The gatherings are here. I'm going to give you a couple of links right onto the, the actual screen here. Um, and it's going to be, you guys want to check these out, starting Saturday, April 26th. 2014, you can now unlock special cards. Okay, special ed cards. I'm losing my spot here because I'm actually trying to get this. Spe did up. you say special ed? <laughs> I did. Special they come in cards. on the short bus. Yes, yes. All right, no, uh, they don't ride the short bus anymore. All right, we don't, I, that, we don't classify that. That's wrong. You're well, all right, all right. Well, they come in on the long bus. But. <laughs> By the way, Hearthstone Fire, Fireside Gatherings. Can I get ready to tell by the way you're reading this that you have no idea what it is, Obi, and I'm hurt. This is important. I do, I do too. Why, why aren't you more excited about it? This is important. Because you know what this means. Everyone listening to this show live or on the recording, everyone that's part of the Geeky Antics team, everybody that's part of all games, everybody that's part of the Horseplay Live experience, we can all do local events and promote them together on our individual sites and and have meetups this is pretty awesome and blizzard will also add them to the directory and by doing this people can unlock special card backs you know every season you get card backs just by hitting rank mm -hmm. 20 so these are going to be a, a, another way to get special card backs and it's just a great way to meet other hearthstone players and you know if you're antisocial like i am it gets you out of being a hermit, so that's a great that's a great excuse to come out and you know see daylight and, and hopefully not burst into flames. So starting um, April twenty sixth, this Saturday, yeah, you, you know, you'll be able to unlock a special card by like simply playing three matches against a player on your network on your subnet. Uh, there will be several meetups allowing players to use the players near me feature, which you can only use on the iPad app, obviously, because Android Android for whatever reason isn't out yet. And then you can get your limited time card back. It's that simple. And again, you can host your own local events. So make sure we'll try to put the link up. I don't know if Obi uh, copied everything over like I told him to. D did you? All right, good. So that's the info right there. You just go to battle.net battle and you'll see the Hearthstone. Uh, if you go to the Hearthstone section, you'll see the Fireside Gatherings info. They have a PDF, a handy dandy PDF, a document 
that will walk you through the requirements to, or better yet the prerequisites to host your own event. It's very simple. And they basically just give you some tips on how to make it really good. So I'm going to try to do it here in Augusta, Georgia. I don't know if this weekend, maybe next next weekend. I don't know how long they're going to do this for. Hopefully for at least a good three or four weeks. But if I do it, it'll probably be at the book exchange in uh, Augusta, Georgia, if anyone happens to be in the area listening to this. Or if you want to fly out here, sure. <laughs> we'll do that too. Yeah, let me jump right on a jet real fast. Wait, if they don't have one, let me just charter a private jet real fast. Soldier will pick you up on the way, buddy. Works for me. Give me ten, give me ten years and my wife will let me do that for real. <laughs> <laughs> We need uh, one of those, like, old Volkswagen buses. Oh. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> yes, that's what we need. Then we could totally be some hipsters. We, we gotta go through Colorado. What's in Colorado? They legalized weed, dude. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> what are you thinking? What? I don't know. I, I thought either you wanted to get shot... Or you wanted to check out the mountains. No, if I was Obviously. shot, I'd drive through Chicago. <laughs> mm. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> uh, yeah. Because you're definitely not going there for the pizza. I'm not going to say anything. It's, it's, it's a slight racial slur. I'm sorry. I can't say it. Yeah, we're, we're, trying to be, we're trying to behave now that we're on the All Games Network. Be a little, little less broadcast. A little more refined. Well, Maybe what I would say would not quite be a racial slur, but it would be kind of like stereotyping the Texans. And then he goes, maybe you should have told me not to say this kind of shit before we That's started true, this too. You know, show. Things have changed. I think things have changed since the last show I was on, so. Yeah, you're fired, dude. We still, After go, show, we still go We still go. wild. We just, you know, we're trying to avoid saying anything that's going to get the chat crazy, and then we go off on a tangent, and then, do, you know. Do we still, like, in the last five minutes, take off our shirts and wiggle around? Yeah, yeah, if we have enough time, definitely. <laughs> I, I make my belly button talk. What, what was that on Goonies? Uh, what was it? Truffle Shuffle. Do we do, do, we do Truffle Shuffles? You guys don't know <laughs> Truffle Shuffle? I don't call it Truffle Shuffle. I, I, know, I know Obi knows the Truffle Shuffle. He looks like he's experienced with it. He's done it plenty of times. <laughs> he walks into the bedroom and goes, Do a little truffle shuffle for me, baby. <laughs> I'm doing this. I'm doing this. And I'm not saying anything, but I'm doing this just for you because it's live. Oh, I know. Um, it touches me deeply. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you think that I hurt your feelings when I, I titled it like that? Now, I was going to change it, dude, too. And then hey, if I had feelings, I would be hurt. If I had feelings, they would be hurt. But That's I'm, why, in all cap letters, special ed guest. That's so true. <laughs> God, man. Oh, you oh, just oh, hurt oh. my feelings. No, I did not. The we're one close. I have left, we're, you we're did too. That, baby. baby, we're closer than that. Don't baby me. Come on, sweetie. Come on. Come on. Yogi, he's derailing us. I'm just going to engage with the people in the chat while you guys get sorted <laughs> out. Mm -mm. Let's keep going. <laughs> I want to talk about our feature. Our feature is freaking awesome today. Well, I don't even know what it is. Let me look. A am, I, am I continuing the news? Yes, you are, because I'm all flustered, Fuzz. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I was going to say to you. <laughs> all right, all right. So I'm moving on. So more Hearthstone stuff. If you want to win an iPad Air, you know, Ooh. you can submit a Hearthstone poster and a top three posters with the most votes, we'll get a free iPad. Alright? That's pretty good stuff. And again, go to the Blizzard site if you're, if you're curious. This in from uh, Gaming History 101. Thanks, uh, Spiders Venom and Jam Elias. Uh, Matt Thomas, I believe his name is, has released the Lemmings games from, for free. It is not the Matt Thomas from uh, Match Mock. Matchbox uh, 20, I think. He, he, no, he's Rob Thomas. Never mind. <laughs> We're in the yeah. studio that they are working on a, tr on a Lemmings Tribes remake and maybe a new game. The last Lemmings game that came out, I think, was Revolution. And these games, I, uh, I love them, but I guess they don't have the, a lot of fanfare because, you know, people are like, ah, those graphics aren't super sexy. They're not, they're not Ultra HD. Meh. But, you know, it, it's a really fun game. That's all I'm going to say. But, you know, whether you love the games or not, it's great to see developers creating the game that they truly love and believe in. 
Like, uh, you know, much like Mark and Roger with Armada Online. And remember, we had Mark over in uh, episode 5 and 5.5 when we interviewed him. I mean, mm-hmm. that's a true labor of love. Regardless of how you feel the game, I mean, I personally love it. I know you guys like it as well. You know, it's good to see developers that are making stuff, not just thinking about the, the, the bank flow. They're thinking about, hey, this is a game I would like to play. So that's cool. And actually, it's a part, I guess it looks like the, uh, Lemmings does have a bit of uh, a cult following because I saw a bunch of fan sites, including uh, LemmingsUniverse.net. So if you want to check that out. All right, so what else? Um, Trying to see what else we got in here. Yeah, oh yeah, and just a reminder, we definitely want to do a retro, a full-on retro theme show that we talked about earlier, and we should definitely get Fred and, and Jam from uh, Gaming History 101 on, or at least, you know, one of them, because they, they're really into that scene too, and, and, and knowing your roots, because you can't appreciate gaming today unless you know how we got here. There's a lot of things we take for granted, and we'll talk about that. Personally... I, I'm remembering the days of Bullfrog and Cygnosis and Microprose. Brothers. Oh. On the Nintendo. Oh. On the Nintendo when I was like 8 and you guys were like 30. Those pu- those publishers do not make those games, but okay. i let you get with that. I love when people go, I love when I say something like that, like really old school stuff, and people go, and I'm not trying to be a gaming snob, but I love when I say something like really old, like 80s or 70s, and then someone goes, man, Sonic, like that's old school, original Sonic. Oh, like, that's that's eh, that's classic. It's not no. old. It's not asteroids old. on Atari. Is that was cool. a fun game. <clears throat> I love that game, dude. <clears throat> see, we're we're really jumping ahead, but let me tell you, that's that's one of the games that really got me into gaming. I put so many hours. My longest asteroid session, I think, was eight or to ten hours long, consecutive. Like I didn't die. We have a few impatience in the chat. Are voicemails going to be played or what? Yes, yes. We're going to play voicemails. We have a special... We can play a quick voicemail right now if you want. Well, let's finish this news first. We're almost done with the news. It's a quick news segment. We'll play one right after that. And then we're just playing a special voicemail that we meant to play last week during our dust-off. It was his fault because he controls that kind of thing. All right. <laughs> So yeah, we will play voicemails. I know you guys... Everybody likes that part. You know what? If you leave us more voicemails, we'll play more of them. It's simple. We didn't get that many this week. We kind of caught... Th- we burned through them last week. We should have, like, sp- spaced them out. But anyway, I'm getting misty at talking about old school games. So moving on. Uh, Hecht over at All Games uh, Chat pointed out this controversial bit. Apparently, people are rallying to protest Dropbox in response to Condoleezza Rice being appointed to the board of directors. Now, this is going to be a hot topic, uh, you know, hot button topic again. So, we won't get too deep into it. Again, politics, and then, of course, there's racial things in there. But, uh, I see both sides. We, I know we all see both sides of the argument. Uh, the 275 really, you know, kindly did support the warrantless NSA surveillance stuff, right? And that pissed off a lot of people. I mean, that didn't make her many friends. Not, not that many people were big fans of the whole NSA thing. And she was like, oh, it's good, yeah. <laughs> you know, bad. Um, it does seem like she is getting discriminated against a little bit because of her race, but I think people on the same token are way too quick to play that card. And as a minority, let's be honest, there's there's other things that people are discriminated against. For the, for example, the fact that she's a Republican. And, well, re- liberals like bashing on Republicans. And vice versa. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, go ahead. Ooh. Ooh. The, Retard. The, the kid in the back. The kid in the back. Retard. Okay, good job. You get a gold star. So, <laughs> but personally, no, little Johnny, we're gonna go on an extra special recess in the hall. <laughs> All right, come on, let's get to. So, anyway, personally, I like to say to, to end the news segment, the obligatory news. I personally feel like that, well, Jim, if I don't like, <laughs> if I don't like what someone stands for or does. I can really care less whether they are Latino or Puerto Rican or any or purple or or polka dotted Asian. It doesn't matter to me. I mean, a a dummy is a dummy. Shiny. You know what? That's it. (laughs) (laughs) You guys want to see shiny? They're the shiny head. Holy cow! I'm gonna blind you guys. Never mind. I got a, I got a lot of hair. I could share with you guys. Well, I'm sweaty. 
I could do that. I could cut off a bit and make have my wife make it into a wig and send it to you. I'm I'm sweaty. Yeah. Dude, you're bald. <laughs> That's I what happens. That. That's what happens when you get old. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. How long have we have we guys have we three been together and we didn't know he was bald, Obi? I did, but I didn't know he was shaved shaped. Well, that's why my, my trademark was always wearing the bandana. It's in my it's in my little cartoon avatar. But mm -hmm. today it went off. By it's a special episode. Guy. And they're cartoon avatars. And you just took it from me now. I don't... You need to put your shit back on. No, I'm keeping it on. I'm, I'm a little sweaty. That's it. I, I'm, I'm, getting, I'm getting engaged. Speaking of engaged, geeks engaged. So if you want to join a discussion... Connect with us via the new Horseplay Live Skype account. Not right now, though, because we're, we're doing something different and uh, we can't do call-ins today. <laughs> oh, Obi, stop it. But uh, you, can add, you can still add the account and uh, join us in future shows. Just look up Horseplay Live on Skype or geeky at gmail.com while Obi's crying over there. You can also leave us a voicemail. Oh, that's what I forgot to do. I got to change the, the voicemail hotline uh, message. I got to make it a little shorter. I know it's rather long. And I have the wrong uh, address for our site. But uh, yeah, Gang Voicemail Hotline, which is for Horseplay Live and all the other shows we have coming up there. Uh, our hotline is 206-415-4987. And uh, feel free to add me too on Skype, Yogi Zilla. Okay, so now uh, we got a hat, a hat party over here. So yeah, stay, stay tuned during the uh, dust off. We're going to play a very interesting voicemail. Oh, wait, should I play a voicemail now since we're getting some... Uh... Yeah, but I want to say something. Okay. If everybody, everybody look at Yogi, okay? Right here, okay, I swear to God, it looks like he has, like, a line. Like, he has a freaking, <laughs> like, bald head, like, a bald head skull cap on. I probably do. <laughs> but it's, it's, it's his bald head. Let's play a, let's play a voicemail now. <laughs> it does. Do oh, my gosh. Like Some in chat said you look like a cancer patient. <laughs> That's terrible. What about if I had cancer? I'd start crying. I'm crying. If you wouldn't have told us about the fact that you had cancer, I'd be personally hurt at the fact you didn't trust me or think that I was a good enough friend to entrust that information with. But what about I'd be crying? I'd be crying and I'd say, "No, sir, bad you." You would turn it. You would make it about you, wouldn't you? Absolutely. Well, but Best. Yogi, you know how you know where that is with me. Yeah, and I think everybody's. So, I laugh. At, I laugh about it, but I, I think everybody's had someone that's been affected by that. So I try not to. The sort of jokes even I won't make, but I'll laugh at it. Got my good sport. You got an admirer in chat. <laughs> Don't I'd say, say that. that name. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna start the uh, thing up. So you guys may not want to talk because you know it's just echoing. I'm working on that mm -hmm. though. Here we go. Voicemail and go. <laughs> All right, moving on. What the fuck was that? <laughs> that was <laughs> that. That was for soldier. I I I don't I don't what. I didn't even hear exactly what well, he said. It sounds well, like well, Mr. Hebert's calling you, man. He's like, hey, little man, I'd like to take <laughs> you down to the basement and give you a popsicle or two. I, I, I have no idea what it is. It, it sounded like they were a little drunk. It might, it could have been a girl or an old man, but I, I could have sworn I heard a soldier is sexy. I, I don't know. <laughs> well, that's common that's sense. Sexy. I mean, you know, everybody thinks that no matter what somebody says. So yeah, that's, but everybody's that's wrong. Mistake. That's a common mistake. <laughs> Everybody's wrong. I tell you. Uh, let's play one more. One more. Play one more. No, we're gonna. We only have one more. Vo we have one more voicemail. But we're gonna play it during the dust off. Unless you really want to play it now. No, that's fine. We'll do shout outs. Shout outs for. This is. I was supposed to do this. You know, my shout out now, but it's my decision. Shout outs. Greetings. I don't know what I'm talking about, man. Shout outs to allgames.com. All games, all our friends and family on, on all games, as well as 
our friends and family right here on Twitch. We really appreciate all the big props, all the big props, big props to all our contributors as well over at gang.net. Farida, I can't, I, did I even say his name right? Far, f Farina. Farina. Say the next one too. Spaffy Zilla. Spa that is one of your kids, isn't it? It's one of your followers that no. <laughs> so Yogi has a fanboy. There's, anyway, a, there's a lot of us Zillas out there, but I'm going to say. Go ahead. Listen, I just want to make it clear I'm not that Yogi Zilla, that fake Yogi Zilla that's like does yoga and some like weird stuff with his body contortioning and whatnot in like really tight pants. I'm not that guy and I don't want to be that guy. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead, Obi. <laughs> More shout-outs, foot guard, Renee Bones. Did I say that right? You I know got she's strange, but I know who it is. And Neo Jake, of course. Neo Jake, uh, and all you guys, even you guys that have been following us on Twitter, the new followers, the followers have just been coming in like crazy on mine, as well as Yogi, so we want to give you guys all shout-outs as well. Now, those are just to name a few. Tim Curtis, what I want to do, Tim Curtis is getting the biggest... Shout out for what he does with all games. I know I'm going off. Just leave me alone. One of our biggest, he is one of our biggest supporters just on everything that he does for us with, with allgames.com and just, just getting our name out there. We want to really, we really want to, we really appreciate him and really want to say thanks. What are you laughing at? You're, you're freaking me out. Soldier's sitting there like he's dead. And then you're sitting there like you're a freaking clown or some shit. That needs to have his freaking colored hair. <laughs> red nose. It, really. Red nose. You know how you get a red nose? Rum. Get punched. Rum. Oh. Anyway. <laughs> I, Yogi, this is why I don't like reading stuff, because I get thrown off track. I know. You know you're not supposed to read it verbatim. We're not scripted. It's just to give you an idea. I'm not idea. reading it verbatim. I'm giving you. I'm reading. <laughs> I am reading it verbatim, but I'm trying to add in things to make it sound good, but it doesn't. That's why you read it all, dude. When you have to talk about things like this, you read it, of course. But anyway, anyway, uh, he he does have. Yeah, put that shit back on. He does have a friend, guys. We want to. Uh, it's it's it's. Not really a favor. It's something that we we just we love to help other gamers find get their way and find their way, even if they're even if they're not gamers. Just support. Her name is Angela Charles. She has a debut album. She needs to help get funded. She's uh, just under a K, but her goal is twenty K. So um, I want you guys to go to. I put some links up here real quick. I want you guys to go down, go to the here, and check these out. Uh, and then just kind of, you know, if you guys want to support her, that would be uh, a, a good option. Mother sucker. I'll fix it. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Don't, don't you, touch it. Just hurry up and do it. You I'll broke it. Control Z. I, I did. What did I do? Oh yeah, Control Z. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. Obi. Obi. Touch it. Why is it? Why is my control Z six? <laughs> <laughs> All right, you can just hit edit undo. Oh, be it's uh, anyway. We okay. will get that up for you guys, but that's well, we just want to make sure that uh, she is she has got an album out, and we want to you know give her give her some support uh, from here from Obi One X Two, and of course uh, you guys can check her out at indiegogo.com as well. So when I get when I get that link back, when <laughs> Yogi fixes it. I will, um... <laughs> I, I can't fix it. You did something that does not allow me to revert it. You have to revert it. What did you do, man? You you caused some juju, some bad juju. Just hit, Ooh. click on edit, and hit undo. There you go. It's right anyway, there, bro. Anyway, her name is Angela Charles. Just check her out on Indiegogo. Let's, let's move on before you, do, you break something. Oh, my goodness. Stop it. I did do nothing. You're going to give me Last a... Last but not least... We do want to express how humble and appreciative we are to those people that have donated to our Twitch channels, um, myself, Yogi, and even for the horseplay. Um, we do really appreciate you guys are just amazing. Uh, you guys are just awesome. Uh, without you guys, I mean, we do this because we love to. 
uh, you guys actually wanting to support us and actually giving us feedback when when we do put stuff out there just makes it just that much worth it. Um, you know, we're not out here to make a crap ton of money because you know we're out here because we love to do it. Soldier has missed it. I mean, he's been gone for like ten weeks, eleven weeks now, and he's going crazy. I mean, he has to actually yeah. get a job and work, not like us. You know, you know me. Like these lazy old farts. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, but while we don't have a massive audience or, a, you know, just a large sum of people following us all at once, we do want to show other shows um, and networks that, uh, that I lost my spot. And I'm trying to read it again. But we just, we really appreciate everybody and uh, in, in everything that everybody does, just just for horseplay and just for geeky antics. It's just really amazing on, on just, just the, the mass support. Yogi, you wanna you wanna say your thanks for that? I'm just impressed that even though we don't have uh, anywhere near that massive audience of showings during some of the live shows we do, we get a lot of engagement. It's it's impressive how many comments we get and tweets and people pimping our stuff out. I, I'm excited. It's only gonna get better from here, guys, and we couldn't do it without you guys. So awesome community and. I'm humbled by it, especially just this week alone. I think at least like three or five people gifted me stuff on uh, on Steam alone, and I'm not even gonna talk about League of Legends gifting. That's a whole other thing. And I'm gonna be greedy right here, Yogi. Uh, whoever gifted Yogi the um, the uh, space one, I want it too. The space one. The space space games. No, the space, space engineer. The space, space one. Engineer. Oh, space engineer. I've heard of that. Space yep. engineer. If you, if if anybody wants to give me that, it's on my wish list. I yeah. I want to play. Nobody it get it for him. Yeah, I'll just get it myself. I don't care. <laughs> right. I saw that. Right? That that was an intriguing game. I that, that was an intriguing game. It looked I can't wait. I can't wait. You guys ready for this one? Quickie. All right, quickie. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, you like it. You know you do. Yogi, what is our quickie for this week? So uh, we, t today we're going to be talking about what is re retro gaming. Hashtag Retro Friday. All right, so real quick, what I want to do is address both sides of the debate for and against retro and indie games. Because I find that a lot of times with, in conversations between gamers, you, you get people that clump retro and indie games together and they just write it off as cheap crap for hipsters you know and i don't think that's fair so this is gonna be super duper quick but my stance on it is uh and actually i'm gonna reference an article i read by derek h over at all games which i think was great and he made some valid points but he feels like retro should not mean pixelated my counterpoint though you know is that the a, a good gameplay experience is not hindered by you know non HD graphics you know I don't think that games should be technical showpieces because next gen gaming to me is more about creating bigger experiences and newer things that we couldn't do before because of the limitations of processing power you know better AI vaster worlds deeper interactions you know more customization there's a lot of things you can do to improve immersion and replay value in games and I think this is really huge I think that re like people that don't appreciate retro games don't realize that it's not just about the retro style games or the classics it's fine if you don't like those but you have to appreciate that those things paved the way for the games today that are taking a lot of, a lot of time they're taking the credit for being innovating when they really weren't they're just taking what someone else did and then building it in a nicer prettier package right but you know mm -hmm. the, isn't the heart of gaming guys isn't the heart of gaming having fun and and having and get, investing in games that you feel have replay value am i wrong is that fair yeah. to say I, I well I don't think when I whenever I play a game and you, uh, this is I tell you this all the time I'm playing this because I want to play it I want to have fun with it. I mean I want to um, you know get with people other people yourself soldier anybody the fans of horseplay or, or anything and, and actually play the game because I love to just play video games mm -hmm. I mean what about you soldier I totally spaced out. <laughs> well, well, while you put your thoughts together, someone in the chat mentioned something very good. Deviation says that retro gaming is cheap guitar trash for hipsters. It's not always the case. Now, 
here's the thing. Uh, he he makes a point that developers that a lot of times. Well, he says it's. He makes it sound like it's always this case. But he says it's developers trying to be edgy with their cheap early access alpha games. The, the creator of Fez is a perfect example. That's not always the case, though. What people don't realize that it's not just being it. It's not just having the hardware, the, the ability to create. You know, nicer looking games, and, and, and real showcases for technology. It, it's about meeting timelines, and sometimes you create an art style that matches the game. It doesn't have to be a certain art, art style. Uh, it's not always laziness, and it's not always pandering. Though there are people that definitely just go out and create retro games to get the hipsters that feel like I'm gonna pick these really, you know no-name kind of one-off games that no one's talking about, so I can own this and it can be completely mine. It's kind of like the whole thing is like, uh, um, Neo Jake said this funny joke. He says, uh, oh, how did it go? I'm gonna probably kill this. But he said, uh, why, why, why did the hipster burn his mouth when he was drinking coffee? Anyone? Um, I don't know. To get to the other side? Because he tried to drink it before it was cool. But um boom. Okay. But the whole the whole point is that hipsters try to like stuff before it becomes mainstream. But then once it becomes mainstream it's no longer cool. So you know, I see both sides of it, but I think the indie movement really is is adding a lot of variety and honestly the big studios all they're doing is regurgitating the same sh the same stuff, man. I mean, uh, I I kept hearing from people that went to PAX East. The only thing they had to re to reveal was like games like Evolve, which is a ripoff of Natural Selection, as far as I've seen, and uh, a, a Borderland a Borderlands prequel on a 360 and PS3. It's like I I like Borderlands, but I'm kind of burnt out on t a Borderlands. I barely even play Borderlands too, because yeah, I kind of same. I kind of oh I kind of. OD than the first one, you know, and it's just that's 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 what you see with the big name publishers and developers is always regurgitation and stuff. Whereas with the indie games, you're gonna get a lot of stinkers, but at least you get some variety, and eventually you'll find a real gem, and you're like, wow, this is something I want to keep coming back to. Right. Well, and 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 the way I see it, there's always gonna be those people that, like you said, that are just trying to get the oh, this is. I want to do this because then I'll own it. Then I'll have you know whatever whoever does buy it, even though it's not going to be that many people unless it's just really really great. You know, uh, I don't know. I, I I had a good thought in my head and then I lost it again. So <laughs> I just there's always going to be those people that make these just trashy games, and then there's always going to be the people. It are it, with with me anyway. It matters. What the game is, and is there a good storyline? Is there good, you know, if it's a say a simulation flying simulation game, is it actually true to its like the 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 art of flying? I mean, do you fall a certain way, or when you go up, do you fall backwards and then you know nosedive, or you know just things like that? You know, if if it's not good like that, then I don't want to play it anyway. <laughs> it doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be full HD you know, 4K resolution. It doesn't have to be that. It, it can be freaking whatever. I mean, as long as the game's fun, I'm not going to... Even if it's an indie game or a little piece of junk that somebody just created in their basement. It's a, if it's a good game, it's a good game. That's Soldier? Ex exactly. <clears throat> he lost it again. No, I kind I got I got a tiny bit of grasp of it uh, between retro and indie games, right? Okay. Um... The, it's kind of hard to combine them because they are, they're actually two different things. I mean, I don't know what I'm really thinking, but I'm just going to say stuff anyway. But the indie games, I, I'm, I like the fact that the indie games are there because it allows, it, it allows smaller companies to still get out their unique ideas. You know, it allows us to be able to try them out, and if it's successful, great sweet boner from. God, you know, it's awesome, you know. <laughs> uh, but the retro games, there, there's something to them. There's something to a good old retro game that just, how would I put it? What's the term? What's the s sentimental? 
Sentimental journey. Oh gosh. Anyway, well, it's a satisfying experience. I mean, oh, when it if it's a if it's a decent retro game, like I said, it doesn't have to be the perfect graphics. If it's fun, that's all I care. That's all most people, most yep. gamers care about. Unless you're just one of those graphics people. Well, it 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 all depends. Like I've got a buddy. He uh, when he plays Skyrim, he downloads as many freaking graphics mods as possible to make it look beautiful which <laughs> heck i would too if my computer could handle it but uh it's it's you know he doesn't add anything to make it fun he just wants graphics yeah and so you know at that point it's kind of like eh, you could throw in some mods that would make it really fun but you just want mods that make it look pretty yeah i don't get that yeah. i yeah, think I'm, we're my wife go, go ahead go ahead go ahead <laughs> Go ahead, soldier. Uh, it's it's one of those things. I, I I love when a game looks pretty. It is pretty. I love I love it. The prettier it is, the nicer it is. But if the prettiness takes away from the fun factor, that's all I've got to say. And for those people that were that are listening to the the podcast and not the live show, we can't disclose that word at this time. Thank you. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> go ahead. Well, you know, the, the last thing I would say on that is that I agree with you guys completely. Uh, I, I don't see, I don't feel like a game has to push the envelope on technology. I know for some people, it's it's important to them because they want to justify spending three to four thousand dollars to get bleeding edge, te- bleeding edge tech, and being able to say, "Look, I I threw, I squeezed out an extra point five teraflops, and you know, look at this, I got a little extra pixel here. I can see his chest here is a little sharper, you know." And I think we're at a point right now with the gaming industry where we don't care that much anymore. Like when we went from the eight bit to sixteen bit, thirty two bit eras. You know, we still we cared a little bit because it opened up a lot of options. It wasn't just the graphics mm-hmm. getting better, but things really opened up. Now we're at a point where I can give two craps about, you know, the graphics being a little better. I want games to perform well, that are fun, mm-hmm. and, and that, that my friends are enjoying, that have high replay value. I want to feel like yep. I, I'm getting my money's worth. And that's the thing I love about indie games. If you get a bad indie game, you lose like, what, $10, $20? You get a bad... At the most. Yeah, yeah that's you get a bad... Yeah, it's expensive ones. But if you buy a, a, a bad AAA title, you're spending sixty bucks or more. You know, yeah, I made that mistake just recently. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we all do. I mean, I got games. I got a whole freak. I don't know. You guys can't see it right now, but sometimes when you look at my Twitch stream, you can see my whole wall of shame. All these games that I, I put next to me because I eventually intend to get back to them, and they're great games, but they don't immerse me like these other games I have. <laughs> yeah, you can't. You can't see that way. <laughs> Oh, De- Dead Dead Rising Three, yeah, Dead Rising Three. I, oh I, God, I, I'm not a huge fan of it. I mean, the fact that my weapons only last about three hits pisses me off. Yeah, see, and we got a lot of, a lot of good discussions here in the chat too. Um, so uh, Deviation says. I respect an art style that developers put work into, and it's innovative instead of just being generic retro style. But unfortunately, just because it's different doesn't mean it's good. Most indie games I find to be pretty bad and generally a cash grab. But see, that that's an argument, that's a fair point, and that's an argument I hear a lot against indie games and retro games alike. Which a lot of indie games just happen to be retro style, you know, and the pixel art and the sprite art, right? But, you could say the same thing about all the freaking games that come out from the big studios because there's no need for them to come out with a new one each year. Call of Duty X, you know, it's like, or, or freaking Madden, you know, 250. You know, they, they, they're just purposely rebooting and doing slight adjustments, slight facelifts, a little bit extra to keep getting more money. They're, they're, even, they're more guilty of it than the indie people are. Yes, do some indie developers and, 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 and retro-style games try to go for that the, the hipster crowd that will, and get, get that easy cash? And do they know that maybe people would think less about a 5 or $10 purchase than a $60 purchase? Or whatever you're spending, wherever you're at, yeah, of course. They, that you know, it's easier to spend less money than to spend a lot of money in one shot. You can spend sixty dollars and spread it out over ten, twelve games, and not feel so bad about it. If you buy one game and you spend sixty dollars and it's not, and you don't feel like it's worth it, it hurts a lot more. 
But that's not a develop. I don't think it's the indie game. Um, the indie developers are not the only ones at fault there. If anything, the big studios, I think, are messing it up more. Because everyone has been going to conventions lately. They're like, I was not impressed. And don't hold your breath. I don't think it's going to... For as far as like the consoles and the major developers, I don't think we're going to see that much really exciting stuff for the next two years. Um, but maybe once in a, here and there we'll see some fun stuff, but it's going to be more in the same. I really believe that. <laughs> no, and <clears throat> excuse me, and I think uh, I mean really, if you think about it, if you had the option to, and if anybody could do this, and just create a game, and you said, okay, uh, it's only going to be two dollars. Okay, well then you have one thousand people buy it. Okay, yeah, you got two thousand dollars, but then you got cuts from everybody else, and this, this, and this. Of course, I can see the, 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 the pros to just making a game real quick and getting those indie indie type retro people that just want to spend a few dollars and, oh, hell, it's not 60 but it's just like this, and it's only 12 or it's only 15 Yes, that's what they're doing it for. They know that these people are going to buy. They know that us cheap bastards are going to buy just because we want cheap games. We're not going to go off and buy Call of Duty Ghosts because it's $60. I don't have, nor do I have the time nor the patience to play that game ever again. <laughs> or that that kind of first-person shooter. I mean, it's just... You know what I mean? I play my Arma and everything, but I just... Uh, Ghost is something totally different. I mean, it's just a straight PvP world. I mean, anyway, we don't get too far into that, because then I'll just get crazy. All right, well, we're, we're actually... We actually just said the... And you set the stage really well for the next uh, discussion, which mm -hmm. is... You know, perfect segue here, but just to cap this off, uh, Karth makes a good point that we brought up many times, OB, and even Soldier has discussed on the show before, that we're gaming right now, the industry is in a bit of a rut, and a lot of people are surprised they haven't seen a second crash, like, what was it, back in 84, when the gaming 85. industry crashed? 80, 85, <laughs> 85, yeah. Back in 84, when Soldier wasn't even born. <laughs> <laughs> but people wow. know about it, because that's what, like... And the NES alone, they had so many games, and a lot of them were stinkers. But, you know, again, we, at least we still had options, And but the, the difference is that you're paying full retail price. Um, again, he, he, you know, Karth says as well, uh, we live in a time where, you, where $60 games come, come out, and people are, people are begging for $20 DLC before the game even comes out, as, as soon, or as soon as it drops, because... They don't include that content in the game upon release. They purposely detract value from the game. And see, you don't see that from indie developers. A lot of indie games, you get free content for life. And user-generated user content built in through, like, Steam Workshop and, and built-in things. And mods, yep. yeah. So, it's a, it's, I don't, it's a good proposition. I think we're in a good place on that end. It, it's, it's like whenever, you know, the Elder Scrolls games, you know, uh, Skyrim, when it came out, you know, I bought it. I loved it. It's a great game. Uh, there is, you can get so much more out of the mods than you can out of the DLCs. And look at the DLCs, you know, it's, they add a few quests, they might add, you know, they added, cro did they add crossbows in the latest one or something? Uh, they added, you know, being a vampire <laughs> lord and whatnot, you know. I, I look at those and I go, you know, you can go to these mods and you can get the exact same freaking thing for free. Yeah. You know, it's like, why would I pay, you know, an extra $40 because, you know, they're going to charge, you know, so much per DLC. I have never bought an Elder Scrolls DLC. I have either bought Game of the Year or I have bought just the normal copy. And I've been happy. I mean, I, granted, I'm not a fanatic about Elder Scrolls, you know. And when some people really enjoy the game, they want more content, which more power to them. But it's like you can get... The, the great thing about Elder Scrolls is all the mods that you can get with it. Yeah. That's the great thing about it. I see. I mean, we're about to go into that. Obi, did you want to say something? Yeah, well, with with and you guys think about this with everybody that does the 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 games, okay? The one thing that I can't stand, and, and we've talked about this before, Yogi, and we'll talk about it here in a minute when we're actually into the feature. But the tran the microtransactions, okay? Mm. Like Soldier said, if you're gonna make a game, do it with to where you know uh, if we're gonna have to spend another. 20 or 30 dollars every time that something little something comes out just make an expansion set then mm -hmm. you know wait a year wait a year and a half or so or whatever how long ever long it's going to take the average gamer to get through the content okay 
and then just put out an expansion. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I'm not gonna say this, and I'm I you know I love the game still. It's it is it is my first, one of my first, but is with you know the World of Warcraft. They just make expansion after expansion, making you so much to do, and then in yep. that year and a year and a half, of course, you know they're going to be coming out with another expansion in two years. Yep. Yeah. It's just how but it is. The microtransactions got to stop. I mean, dude, it's just terrible. Well, it's, it's you know, if you look at all the, the big-name games that are coming out nowadays, uh, and I'm mainly pointing at Xbox One at this point because that's what I got and that's what I'm looking forward to. You've got that uh, that Tom Clan was it a Tom Clancy game, the Diversity or something? I don't oh, know. Um, the Division. The Division, yes. That that's an online game. You know, it, it incorporates a single player action w along with you know partnering up with friends into a massive scale city and you know duking it out. Destiny, it's turning into a get with your friends. And then on the big bosses, you'll get other parties jumping in and helping you. You know, it's they're turning all video games into a pretty much an MMO in a certain type of sense. Not you know just you know MMO entirely, but you're starting to see a lot of games just interact with other players across the world. And personally, I really I, I I'm really kind of enjoying that. Um, the one thing I have always said that Elder Scrolls has been failing at has been any type of co-op. And yeah. by co-op, I don't, I don't mean Elder Scrolls Online. I mean, that's an MMORPG. I'm talking about a co-op. You yeah. two get on, you play in your own world, you know, just you and maybe three other buddies, you know. Y'all can help each other, partner up, you know. It's not yeah. an MMO. It's an actual Elder Scrolls game with everything that's great about it along with your buddies to play with. And I think that would be a great thing whenever they come out with Elder Scrolls whatever, you know, Pirates at Sea or, you know, <laughs> Cairo Dill. I, I, well, I must be a Disney crossover. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a welcome to Elder Scrolls 17. Welcome 17. to Elder Scrolls 38. Oh, man. The dungeons of Cyrodiil, or the underworld of Cyrodiil, where underneath Cyrodiil there's a whole other world to explore, and we get another 38 games out of it. <laughs> <laughs> and don't forget, they got to go to space at some point. Hmm. That might be good. Yeah. Elder Scrolls in space. Well, we got a lot of good stuff there because we've, we've talked a lot about how MMO, or at least MMORPGs, that's a genre that I don't know why people are still jumping on that bandwagon. It's expensive, and, and there's so many games in that space, and World of Warcraft has already peaked years ago. I've seen MOBAs, and believe it or not, I think deck building games are going to start coming up in popularity because they're a lot more sustainable uh, as a business model. Uh, MMOs are a dime a dozen now, and I don't know why people are still making them. But by the way, you, if you're looking forward to The Division, we talked about this too. The Go Ghost Recon Phantoms is out on Steam, free to play. So it might be worth checking out, just saying. So, yo, Obi, what's our, what's our feature discussion? <laughs> yes. Put you, you on the spot. <clears throat> All right, I'll give you the. You can start talking at the anecdote one. All right, now this is the feature, guys, and the the title of today's show, okay, is the true essence of gaming. Okay, what is what makes a true gamer? Okay, and we got we we busted into this last week. I had a little bit of a tantrum. I'm sorry, but. Some of the topics that we we were talking about last week with, with 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 gamer girls and the the the, the some of the challenges that that gamers as a whole face. Okay, uh, it, it's actually this is actually a really good time because last week we had a discussion on episode eighteen that the the gamer geek girls were were they tend to get really really discriminated against um, or really really trolled because of. You know they're either not showing enough boob or or they're just terrible at their game, but they're not showing skin or you know just stuff like this that or even uh, even just little things that people just troll the hell out of them because they're girls for one. Girls are not made to be in the the gamer world because it's a man's world. Bullshit. Okay. Yeah, I know we're trying to be nice. Sorry, all games, but bullshit. Um, no. 
Okay, I'm not by any chance married to a, a you know a, a sexist or anything like that. Of you know, um, <clears throat> you know, women are can do this, this, and this, and this. Yeah, I already know. My wife doesn't have to tell me that women can do things better than my wife can do most things that we we would have to do better than I can because I don't have the patience. She does. I mean, really, I, I, what do you guys think about it? I mean, this is a universal issue within within the geek culture, I guess you would say. But what about you, Mr. Smiley? Me? Bald-headed clown. Why are you hitting the bald head? I'm engaging with the chat. I know you are. But what what do you what do you think about this? I mean, with the with the just the 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 the, the discrimination and the attention that actually girl geek gamers or girl gamers are actually getting. Well, it's just it's, it's a general issue that all gamers have to deal mm -hmm. with, uh, and and you have to kind of develop a thick skin, otherwise you become part of the problem. Mm -hmm. But it's all I, I thought about this. I've been thinking about this a lot more lately. But recently, and I shared this little anecdote with you guys. Um, Opti over at All Games uh, IRC channel, uh, allgames.com IRC channel. You just go to allgames.com forward slash chat. By the way, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. But uh, he 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 uh, he was giving me a hard time. He gave me a lot of crap. He was saying that I'm not a true gamer, all because I I said I skip on single player games, and and I do this. I usually do this because one. Um, they don't immerse me enough. Usually the stories suck. People, they get so hyped up that by the time I get into them, I'm severely disappointed. And a single player game, what really, most of the time you play through it once and you, you never remember it again. You know, unless it's a truly memorable, um, truly memorable experience like Mass Effect. And that's very rare that that happens. Uh, a lot of times people tell me, this is a must play game. Oh, Uncharted, uh, Heavy Rain, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, meh. And this is why I'm mainly, when it comes to consoles, I'm more of an Xbox guy than P the PlayStation because I like multiplayer games. Xbox mm -hmm. Live is a better multiplayer platform. They have more a better infrastructure because they charged for it all along, so they were able to develop it out. And PlayStation Network said, hey, we're going to keep it free, but you get what you pay for. And now, now they're charging for it too. Hmm. Anyway. <laughs> I, I just think it's funny when people say, you're not a true gamer. Like, if you don't own every console, or if you don't like certain kind of games. No, it's just I've developed a taste. And I know what I like, and I know what I'm going to spend a lot of time with. I look at a game as an investment. If I'm going to put my money in it, I want to make sure I'm going to get plenty of use of it, and it's something I can always come back to, or that I feel like get experience that matches the investment of time and money. Like, I'm going to like I'm gonna remember, remember it for forever and ever. And... That's big on me, I, you know. But I, I see that all the time. People just discriminate, and they say, "You're not a, a true gamer because blah 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 blah." And I think we, that's you know, it's a big issue. I, and one of the challenges, I think, I think the biggest challenge is that we're judged by our taste and, and the skills in games, right? So you know, anything that we have that's considered bad makes us less credible. And, and I think that's something we need to talk about. It's a serious, it's serious stuff, guys. <laughs> and and yeah, Cathartic makes a good a good uh, point too. The term gamer in itself is pretty dumb, and I don't like labels. When I use when we use labels, really, we use it because it's a frame of reference. But you can't use any kind of word that describes someone, and, and it's all encompassing. But we identify the common thread between between all of us on the Twitch channel and on the show and like geeky, like geeky antics and all games is that we're gamers, whether we play casual, casually or, or, or hardcore, or if we like to dance like we're in the walk like an Egyptian video, and uh, someone's doing a stripper dance, it's very troubling. <laughs> so um, let me ask you guys, so uh, we could really stop this dance on the video, it's really making me uncomfortable. Like, will the... I'll go in and, and s did talk. You didn't even have to ask me. Okay, we <laughs> talked about this. We talked about this last week. Okay. <laughs> Are you when drunk? Defines, no, not yet. When somebody defines, <sighs> okay. Oh, you're not a gamer because you don't play this specific game. No, you're not a gamer if you have to buy everything to get the best. That's what I said last week, and I'm not gonna. And I will say it again, for these guys that buy the game. They get the game, and then they have to buy, you know, when we were talking about the, the, the free-to-play, or is it play-to-win, with Matt, okay? Yeah. Yogi, it, 
guys, if you if you a gamer is a person that plays video games or games in general. It doesn't have to be video games. A gamer can be a, a gamer back in the day it was gamers that played Scrabble. Um, you know, chess, checker, you know, whatever. That, that's a, that was a gamer back in the day. Before the video games really took off, that's what, what a gamer was. You can ask Yogi. He's old just like I am. That's what, we were, <laughs> that's what they were called back then. A chess player or, or somebody that actually, it, it, they were a gamer. You know, it's a game. It's not something that, like you, like Karth, Karth, said in chat. It, the The term "gamer" is kind of stupid anyway, in its own right. But still, it's. I don't want people to get mixed up and 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 confused about what we think an actual gamer is, because that's it's. We, ah, man, I man, whew. The challenge. Ah, man, the challenge is hard, uh, Yoke. Soldier, you've just been sitting there saying nothing all night long. What, about, what do you got to say about this issue? When it comes to the term gamer, uh, there is no stipulation. I mean, if you play a game, you're a gamer, obviously. You play games. That's the definition of gamer. Uh, mm -hmm. That being said, if you want to call yourself a hardcore gamer... That has nothing to do with which type of games you play. You could play freaking Super Mario Brothers all freaking day, and you'd be just as hardcore as the gamer as those Call of Duty. I'm not gonna say it, guys. That <laughs> that freaking go online and call everybody. You know, tell everybody, oh, I I effed your mom last night. Yeah, congratulations. You've effed a lot of moms in one night. Anyway, but the 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 true definition of gamer is just somebody who plays games. So, ergo, you know. My grandma's a gamer because she likes playing solitaire on the computer. Mm -hmm. She's a gamer. She don't know it, and I'm not going to tell her, but, yeah, there you go. <laughs> now, yeah, and, 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 like, and I'll, I'll give you guys a good instance, okay? Um, with what my wife does every day, I hear an echo again, Yogi. Um, what, I, what my wife does every day, and she gets home, and she'll play... Some, all right, come on. She'll play some some Hearthstone, or she'll play some just uh, what is that game she plays all the damn time? Urgh, Candy Crush. Screw that game. Screw you, Facebook. But she just play this, and and yeah, she's you know Super Mario Brothers when she gets home, when you know when we get when we plug the Wii back in. And I'm gonna tell you guys something. My little two and a half year old gamer. He gets so bad on the Wii that when it's time to get off, he throws a tantrum. <laughs> I mean, tantrum. I mean, it's just terrible. Have you guys, in chat, have you guys ever had questions on your gamer status due to your prefer preference or proficiency in the game? You guys have all watched me play League of Legends. You guys have all watched... Um, Who's at League of Legends? Yomar play League of Legends. We're not the best at League of Legends. We love to play the game because we play it. Now, could we be, oh, you guys aren't a real League of Legends gamer because of you suck? Or, yeah. or better, when, when, when you do a, a show about a game and people say, you shouldn't be talking about that game because you're not good at it. It's like, no, just my love for something, the lifestyle I choose... You know, to not have to be, to does not dictate that I have to be perfect at it. It's an ongoing process, you know. And en enjoyment and skill in something, proficiency in something, is completely different. And and, and passion, it, they're not, they don't go hand in hand. <laughs> and I don't know why I'm echoing. Uh, it's your, it's that, it's that playback thing, man. No, it's not on. You got to turn it on still. Anyway, yo, uh, soldier. Yo. <laughs> I don't have what anything about, open. What about you? Yo, nothing. So is it echoing now? What? He says that I'm <laughs> I'm echoing. <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't matter. Have you guys quarter issues? Huh? Quarter issues? Quarter issues. Like twenty five cents? No. Dude. No, not twenty five cents. Okay. Core issues. 
Yogi, do it. Well, I was going to say uh, real quick, uh, Renee Bones pointed out she's been gaming since she's been three years old and she's almost 20 now. So she honestly has no idea what her life would be like without gaming. And that's an important thing to mention. For like, um, you could play games and not really be a gamer. Like you might play a game or two casually. And, but it, to be a gamer is to be, uh, have a, some appreciation for it, regardless of your preferences or skill in it. And again, I know the la labels are lame in general, but, you know, it's something we identify with, and it's a way for us to connect with each other and, and make new friends, and I think that's, that's a beautiful thing. And, and I think a true gamer could always remember, like, some of their earliest, if not their very first experience with gaming, and it's just... Something that makes you feel, it's almost like a badge of honor, you know, and, it, and it's just something that makes you really excited to see the, the future of things to come. But, <laughs> you guys are crazy. But, uh, yeah, so one of the uh, core issues is that when we're, when we're passionate about something, it's easy to really cross the line and go into kind of that territory of overzealousness and snobbery. You know, like there's people that... If you if you like uh, Facebook games, which I think they're stupid, <laughs> personally, and I, and I and I and I a piece of me dies when my friends invite me to them every day, but there's people that's all they play those Facebook games or social games, and they're gamers, and I try to appreciate and understand why they why they do what they do, but uh, it's scary. But I think sometimes we get overzealous and we start trolling each other and we start uh, creating, you know, uh, degrees of separation. You know, it's it's like um, I I've, I've known some. It's, it's funny. I, I I had some. This is gonna sound stupid. Since I'm so racist, coming from a light skinned guy, even though I'm Latino, but I have I, I've had black friends that tell me that they have they know black people that discriminate against other black people if they don't have a certain shade of blackness in their skin. I'm like, what? That's a thing? It's like, yeah, like, he's not, that guy's not really black, because he's more of a brown brother, so, you know, he's, he's, he's probably got some, some dirty white blood in him. I'm like, really? Is that really still around today? But we have that kind of ignorance and discrimination amongst gamers, you know, it's like, Oh, yeah, like, I, I love League of Legends, but there's some people that they see the caustic community of League of Legends, the, st the stupid things that people say on Reddit, or, like, the memes, and they're like, oh, those guys are all idiots, they're, they're all el elitist bastards, they're all trolls, it's like, but, yeah, there's more to the game than those idiots, there's, it's actually fun when you get together with people that are cool, like Renee Bones, or Obi-Wan X2, or, or Yogi Zilla, I hear he's pretty cool, too, and, and this guy named Soldierism, but he's always changing the name, he's Soldier Z sometimes, he's Soldier DX, and... Yeah, I think I'm changing it again. <laughs> It's like, uh, I don't know. I, I can't keep track anymore. Uh, but yeah. The, the, Go the ahead. discrimination thing, you, a grand example is every time Battlefield and Call of Duty come out with a new game. <laughs> Holy crap. You will have guys saying Battlefield's the better game, and then you'll have people that go, freaking, you know, freaking Call of Duty's the thing. It's like, they're two different freaking games. You shoot people, pew pew, be happy. <laughs> pew pew, lasers, pew pew. pew, pew. Let's kill you more pew pew. <laughs> oh man! But you those know, are the people. Those are the people that are not real gamers, by the way. Yeah. Those are the people that sit there and spend a crap ton of money on, you know, the best weapons or different packs and of to get the best of the best of the game. Those are not real gamers. Well, I, you know, too, I think we all do it. To an extent, we all find ways to justify our decision. Because there's no way you could own every console and every big release that comes out there and invest the amount of time where you can feel truly satisfied. Unless you're like a wham, bam, thank you, ma'am kind of person. Where it's like you, you dip your stick and then you walk away. <laughs> right, right. Well, I'm not, I'm not necessarily talking about the... Um, I'm not. I'm not sitting there talking about the guys that actually, you know, with like with you, what you and I do with League of Legends. We'll put like five or ten dollars on the account to buy some skins, all right? Or we'll do this for you know whatever. I'm talking about the guys. As soon as they get the game, they'll play it for five minutes and go, "Man, this is way too hard. Let me get some codes, or let me get some, uh, some. Let me go just spend one hundred and fifty dollars on this, and then I can get all the you know if it's gear or if it's guns or planes or whatever it is." To be the best, to to have the advantage over 
another person that started at the same time as him. But again, we're getting back onto last week's topic, and I don't want to get frustrated. I had to walk away for a second. <laughs> I was frustrated. Well, it's great, though, because it's, it's a callback. Actually, we've been building up every episode. Every single episode has led into the other. So we have a lot of things that tie in. And, and it's great that we could do that because a lot of these things, they're not one session, sit down and, and, dis- and get it done with. You know, it's, we take the conversations to Augie. We take the conversations to Geeky Antics. We take it to IRC. We take it to the games we play. And, and, they, and it keeps coming back. And we do polls and we keep talking about it more. But ne- it's never going to be put to bed completely because elitism is going to exist as long as people there are passionate people. Because there people, there's people that take that passion to an extreme, like the people that you know they see someone with a quad core computer that's running perfectly fine and playing all the games they want to play, but they're like, I got eight cores and I and mine's overclocked and I got water cooling and I can and I can and I can do all kinds of cool stuff on there. They can make me coffee and it's like can float up in the air and I can, it's a time machine too. You just sound like a white guy there. I thought you weren't being prejudiced this 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 show. That wasn't right. That was that wasn't directed at any particular race. That's just a, a snobby I elitist. Didn't, I didn't say racist. I said prejudice. Well, any it wasn't prejudice towards any particular <laughs> demographic or particular. It's just a ter- ter- type of personality. People that you know. It's a proverbial per- comparison of penises and whatnot. But I have never compared my penis to another man. You may have done it metaphorically. But I'm going to say a quick story, though. Uh, another thing that uh, I discussed, I mentioned Neil Jake a lot because he's uh, one of our big fans, and he, he's working on some music for the shows that we're doing. And uh, he's just a cool dude. But uh, we were talking, and he's also over. He's also part of the team, the gang over at GeekyAnswers.net, just saying. But Neil Jake's an awesome guy. But we were talking about how, we were talking about our music tastes, and he's done like a bunch of reviews over at our site. Uh, on, on, on essential albums of the 80s and 90s. And a lot of them are what some people might call hipster picks because they're lesser known things. They're not mainstream. But he said, but he was honest. I, I'm not picking them because they're... I, I'm not automatically saying they're cool because they're unknown. I'm saying I, I picked them because I think they're that great. I think they paved the way for other artists. And I think people may have missed them because they may have been ahead of their time. It's just like indie games a lot of times and stuff like that. We were talking about that earlier, and retro games and classics. But uh, but he said that it's funny because uh, he said, oh my gosh, you know, I, I feel like sometimes when people don't know these groups that I'm talking about, uh, you know, like KMF DM and um, Combustible Edison, he's like, I feel like a snob because I'm like, how can you not know them? <laughs> Oh my god, the chat. <laughs> she said you sound like a gay, girly, white guy. <laughs> Which guy? What? It's supposed to be white guy. Oh, uh, your, <laughs> your wife. Oh, okay. tell her that's it. That's fighting words. I'm not going to fight in Hearthstone. You guys going to fight in Hearthstone? We're going to do it. <laughs> the gloves are off. Just don't use anything really, like, mean. Like, I don't know. Dude, she's ruthless in that game, man. <laughs> I wouldn't play her. Hey, I hey, won't play. I'll... Just like I won't play you ever again in Hearthstone. No, done. Hey, hey while, while we're on the subject of Blizzard, uh, and I know this is kind of inserted into, it's you know, right. it's not even on the notes. Uh, <laughs> have you all heard of the uh, Azeroth Chopper thing? Yep. Yeah. I, I just heard about that like a couple days ago. I didn't know how big of a deal it was. I thought they were just kidding at first. I got one already. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about Chopper, they've actually built real motorcycles. One for the Horde, one for the... Yeah, it's sitting outside. Oh, shit. You don't even ride motorcycles, yo. You don't need to ride a motorcycle to own one. I know plenty of people that have them just wow. sitting in their driveway. <laughs> Yogi, Yogi, did you hear that? I think a soldier needs to take another 10 week break he's getting very violent now I, hey you know what I have to work I have to go to school I'm, I'm a very violent person you know uh, well, that's, I'm, that's why my wife wears long sleeve shirts nowadays alright continuing on to with the feature now yeah, we got, yeah, go ahead go ahead good versus bad fanboys and of course gotta have the trolls every now and then what do you think about that? 
Now, I love, and I'll tell you mine first, and you guys can go in there. Of course, Yogi streams, Soldier streams when he actually can uh, not work for five minutes or not sleep for five minutes, one or the other. Uh, and then I stream, of course, on occasion. I'm going to start, too. But when is it actually, when does a good fanboy turn into a bad one? And this is my question to you guys. Are trolls necessary? Yogi? Sold well, I got it. I got it. I got it. I, I guess I, I think we covered this earlier. It's good we to did. be passionate, and it's, and it's all right to be a fanboy, but don't be the kind of fanboy that is so close-minded that you automatically assume that everyone that doesn't have your opinion is stupid or wrong. Or, I like this you know, P and this please P guy in chat. Yeah, he's like a negative troll right now. Total negative. He has. Yeah, I don't know. Vibe, dude. Soldierism, you are nasty. That Matto guy, nasty. I am nasty. Bring a nasty I bag. I don't know what he has against <laughs> Matt Bradford. <laughs> yep. Now we know who left the was my boy, man. Uh, yeah, uh, now we know who left the voicemail last week. That was, that was a funny voicemail, but I'm sure Matt found that funny too. But whatever. But uh, yeah, we gotta wrap this up because we only got like what 30 minutes left, and I definitely want to do some free balling so we can just talk Dude. about whatever. But uh, to, yeah, to wrap it up, um, a, a few things, and we're going to have to definitely come back to this. A few oh, more yeah. points that we're, we're keeping in the back of our minds. One of the things I'll say that I think is a difference, I don't believe in the whole PC Master Race thing, like PC gamers are be inherently better than console gamers. But I will say I'm spending more time in PC because every time I go on an Xbox 360, I refuse to get an Xbox One yet. I swear, my friends are playing a new game every week. It's flavor of the month or flavor of the week club with everyone that plays on the consoles. Mm -hmm. And they'll tell me one week, get this game. I go out and buy it, drop 60 bucks on it, and we get into it, play it maybe two or three times, then they're gone. It's like, oh, no, this is the new hot game. And <laughs> that's the way I feel it is with consoles. But on the PC, there's, oh, I feel like you always go back to the same mainstays years later. You and and because of the fact that it's more open, and we mentioned and and, and Soldier mentioned this that you know they, you get the user generated content. It's a lot more open source. So you get the mods and all that stuff, and you don't have all this paid content. It keeps the games a lot alive a lot longer. You feel like get your money's worth. And at the same time, you don't feel guilty when you have to put the game aside for something else, another game or, or life outside of the gaming, which happens sometimes. Um, mm -hmm. But I definitely know that with, with, with console gamers. And we'll have to discuss that. Again, if you guys want to chime in on this, listening on the, on, on the live show or on the podcast, on all games, wherever you're at, 206-415-4987. I'm just leaving you with a few quick thoughts. Uh, you know, are console gamers more fickle? You know, are they flavor of the month club? That's a good thing to discuss. Karth mentioned that, uh, you know, the plague of DLCs and expansions on the console, something we talk talk about all the time. And on the flip side, we have microtransactions. You know, there's games that are combining both of them. You pay the full off-the-shelf retail price, and you have microtransactions. It's like, really? <laughs> it's like a, they just want to get you on both ends. I mean, it's crazy. Um, and, and again, the PC is more, is, is this a better ecosystem for people that want to get banged for their buck? So, leave you with, I'm leaving you guys with the, those thoughts for now, so we, we can move on here. But a call to action, I would say, and we're all, this is for everybody here at Horseplay Live and over Geeky Ant and all games, we all feel this way. Stop the gaming snobber, snobbery, whether you're a console loyalist or PC master race member, you know, just have fun. And be more social, and just get your friends to, to share your passions and, and, and explain, share your passion with other people in a way that they can understand where you're coming from and maybe see your side and maybe join you in what you love. But there's no inherent better game or better way to game or true gaming. If you like games and you play them as part of your ritual, your daily ritual, your weekly rituals, it's part of your lifestyle, it's part of who you are, you're a gamer. Done. Let's move on. <laughs> well <said. clears throat> Well said, definitely. Well, wow, I don't even know what to say on that. <clears throat> anyway, <laughs> well, yeah, we we are going to come back to this, guys. We are going to definitely come back to this because this is just something we're getting back to what video games are and why we play video games. So we are definitely going to come back to this. But that uh, he did wrap up that the, 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 the I really think... And I'm I'm trying to to <laughs> find the words in my head. Yes, you're sweating like a yeah. A, a, I feel like a, a preacher. No, I'm you, a preacher in a Baptist church. 
No, I, I was gonna I was gonna tell you that you're sweating like a prostitute in a church, but uh, um, oh, okay. But anyway, that works uh, too. Yeah, I'm sure the religious folks won't be offended. Now, this is something Soldier did um, before he had to go off and get a job. Uh, deals for cheap bastards, guys. Every week we gotta get a couple deals, or we kind of look on Steam and 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 check out some uh, some deals for you know under ten, you know under under at least twenty bucks because usually uh, it, there are so many thousands of great games that are under ten, even ten dollars, which are really good. Think Xbox Live or PlayStation Network for PC. What's Steam? Does anybody know Steam? <laughs> Steam is a engine. <laughs> I don't even know how to explain it. What is Steam, Yogi? What's Steam? Let them know. Think of it as Xbox Live or PlayStation Network, if you prefer, for the PC. Yeah, that's what it is. It's a marketplace for games, yep. but it's so much better. Because, okay. you, I, I mean, you that. get all the social interaction with forums and shared calendars and reviews. And there's they're putting more... Actually, it's sad. Steam has more demos for games and trials than Xbox Live now. Because for some reason, with the Xbox One, it decided to go backwards. Mm -hmm. They got it right with the 360. They decided to go backwards. But ah, Don't get me started. Go ahead, Opie. Just keep going. Dude, it's... Yeah... Yeah, Dark Souls is now Dark Souls Two is now available. This yep. is not a cheap bastards game, but it is now available. Guys, you can check that out. Now, if you guys have ever played the the Company of Heroes, have you guys ever played that? Soldier Yogi, you ever played Company of Heroes One? Yeah, yeah. Free weekend, guys. This weekend coming out sick and at sixty six percent off at thirteen dollars and fifty nine cents. Company of Heroes Two. Woo! You guys get that. It is a huge, huge deal. Uh, it's over 66 uh, over sixty six percent off, and it's just going like crazy right now, guys. Feature PC games of the week for uh, the Steam that are under 10 bucks, guys. What we're going to do is, of course, I did tell you guys about the, uh, the Dark Souls, and I need to actually get into the right viewer because... Uh, yeah, I'm. Yeah. Anyway, the future I was the Starpoint Gemini Two. If you guys have ever played that, it's uh, another space game. If you guys, uh, what game is that that uh, actually jumps for portals and portals? FTL. That, uh, Star Trek. S S Sins of a Solar Empire. Oh no, it's a it's a show. It's actually like Star Trek or something. Oh. It's um, um. Stargate. Yeah, Stargate. It's like a. It's like Stargate, guys. Uh, you're actually you're out in space, and then you go to different places to do different missions. Um, it's a really if you guys want to check that out. It's it's called Starpoint Gemini Two. Uh, it's got some good content on it, um, and it just it's really good. Uh, you got quite a few uh, free to play games this week, of course. Uh, AVP Reloaded. I've been playing that actually. It's part of the dust off, but I won't say too much. Rogue Shooters, the FPS roguelike, is a first person. It's only five dollars this week. And of course, like I said, um, the uh, Street Racing Syndicate, Realms of the Haunting. Uh, there's so many games, I just can't say them all out. But there's uh, right at over a thousand games that are under five that are under five dollars. So you guys go check that out right on Steam, and just go hit right up hit featured i can't even talk right now hit featured pc games for the week and it'll bring you right to it you guys can choose and pick whatever you guys like yeah i like it and don't forget red orchestra 2 did we mention that i was just gonna say that go ahead it's free completely free apparently forever on steam i don't know how that works but better do it while it's still there uh, i saw that and uh i was like whoa so mm -hmm. red orchestra i think i have that Red Orchestra too. It's uh, if you guys have ever played it, it's it's uh, it's I. I only looked at it for a few minutes because I saw it was free. Yeah, <laughs> and, and it's a really shooter. A lot. It's a shooter. <laughs> I mean, there's not much you can expect from it. But you can you can get the digital deluxe edition for only twenty dollars though, uh, as well. If you guys like the you know the deluxe editions for stuff, and of course, like I said, the, the Steam. Uh, like I've said before, remember that the Steam free-to-play sale weekend ends on Sunday right around 1 o'clock PDT time. So uh, 1 o'clock, that'd be 4, 4 o'clock p.m. EDT time. Um, 
EDT time, so E Eastern Daylight Time time. That sounds good. For those that are in the U.S., <laughs> and of course, a couple more websites that we can give to you guys, CheapShark.com and also SlickDeals.net. Now, there are a couple other old ones, BestOldGames.net, CoolRoom.com, and I can't read that one. And Bandonia. And by the way, those three sites are for if you like abandonware and classic games, but use mm -hmm. them at your own risk. Because some of these games on those sites, uh, especially on Cool Rom, they're they're still licensed by copyright holders. So mm -hmm. I'm just letting you know, we don't we're not we're not proponents of anything illegal. But those sites are out there, and there are some legit things you can get for free on those sites. So see, yeah, Abandonia, it's like all these games that uh, no one ever bought the rights back up for. They just been abandoned. It's terrible. It is. It's sad. Cool. So I think what what we got like uh, we got a free ball now. Yeah, minutes. yeah. We got fifteen minutes. <gasps> Seventeen minute warning. Oh my god, well, it's going so oh, fast. Yeah, actually. So what we'll do this. Uh, we won't do a full dust off, but we're gonna play the voicemail. It's a seven minute long voicemail. I, I might have to cut it short. You guys ready? What don't we just do? We're not gonna do the dust off at all this week. We'll we'll get to those. We'll stack up some more games. And we'll play that voicemail and do some, some uh, well, I want to talk to Soldier a little bit, man, but we got to keep it out of that two hours. Cause I know, I we, keep promise, to us again. we keep promising this voicemail, though, the poor oh. guy. No, we want, no, play the voicemail right now. Oh, we're yeah. Dust off. After the voicemail, we're going to free ball with, with Soldier. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go. Horse play. I have a few questions for you guys, and I would also like to dedicate the song to you guys, and I will sing it while I'm asking my questions, because I love you so much, and I like that, the robot cock, right next to your beautiful lips, Yogi. Hold on one sec. By the way, how do you guys like Batman Arkham Orton? I'm thinking of getting it. Uh, but I'm also thinking of getting a day Z, a standalone. I loved Arma 3, and I uh, would like your opinion on it. Say something, I'm giving up on you. Thank you. Uh, Rust, also a good game, I think. I'll be the one if you want me to. Mm. Anywhere I would have followed you. Space engineers. What do you guys think? That's all to Steam. I don't know. Say something, I'm giving up on you. I play Tomb Raider. That's actually good. I give it a four out of five. <laughs> and I am feeling so small. Counter Strike, always a winner. It was over my head. I know nothing at all. And I will stumble and fall. Starbound. I'm still learning to love. Just starting to crawl. What do you guys think about Starbound? Say something, I'm giving up on you! Creeper World 3? What do you guys think? I'm sorry that I couldn't get to you! I'm thinking of getting Shadowrun online. But I don't like MMORPGs. Anywhere I would follow you! Ooh, ooh, I suck at singing. Say something, I'm giving up on you. McDroid? Seriously? I give that a one. And I will swallow my pride. You're the one that I love. And I'm saying goodbye. Battle Academy? Say something, I'm giving 
Awesome game. <laughs> and anyway, I would have followed you. But it hasn't come out yet, so I don't know. Oh, say something up and you lie. Shut the fuck that I got. Say something up. Giving up on you. Well, we know who it is now. The Bureau, 749 today. Awesome. Say something. <laughs> oh my oh God. We love you too. Oh my god, every time I listen to that, I swear I'm gonna have a heart attack. Oh my god, dude. Oh. dude. That was worth the wait. Come on, guys, come on. <laughs> how, are just... to... how, how are we supposed to follow that up? It's done, we're done. Sorry. I mean, I was gonna leave it till the end, but I don't know we go off on a tangent and never squeeze it in. We've been trying to play that voicemail for weeks now. Oh my god, man. <laughs> oh. De Deckard C, everybody. Otherwise known as Paul G. He's our resident drunk <gasps> voicemailer. Good times. Oh, man, dude. I will get with you sometime, and you will give me the words, and I'll sing them. <laughs> I like the best part, though, is not just the off-key singing, is the fact that he's reviewing games and, and showing us some of the Steam sales that are going on. It's like the drive through <laughs> orders that they sing. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, man. That is so funny. <sighs> That's perfect. <laughs> Wow. Uh, Free ball. It's time to let them hang out right in the open if they're not already out. Oh, they're out. Oh, <laughs> I know they're out. Mm -hmm. Soldier is back. Yeah, it's true. For now. For, now, for we're going to talk a little bit about Hearthstone and League just right now. He's back for like 15. we got 15 minutes. Tell it 10 minutes, actually. Actually, we can go a little bit over because we started about two minutes later. So, So we're fine. Hearthstone League of Legends, Soldier, what have you been playing? Are you been playing either or? Uh, I've, I have ain't got time for games, really. But uh, I did play Hearthstone today, actually. You got time for that. Uh, <laughs> nope, I got time for that. Anyway, <laughs> uh, I, did, I, did, I finally finished the tutorial for Hearthstone. So, uh, it only took you six months. <laughs> by, by, the, by the way, no one, we didn't mention this during the actual show, but that is a very epic beard. We mentioned it during the pre-show. It's still going. I'm still. I'm. It's gonna. I'm. I'm going for the Gandalf. That's. Uh, I'm. I'm impressed. I. I. I feel bad that I actually shaved mine down. So you should, you should next time, you, let me know when you're gonna come back on, so I'll make sure I let mine grow on enough. Uh, hey, I'm still trying to get back to where I'm doing this full time, guys. Still trying. It's Real tough. Legends and Hearthstone. We're not talking about. Uh, yeah. Anyway, stuff. Hearthstone. Uh, it's free ball. It's whatever we want to talk about. <laughs> That's right. You leave well, my balls alone. My balls can go wherever they want. You don't just tell them one direction. <laughs> oh baby. Uh, anyway, um, so yeah, Hearthstone. I like it. Uh, it's it's a very simplified yet intriguing game style. Uh, the fact that your character gets you know its own type of hit points and all that, or not hit points, skills and whatnot. That's that's all neat. The fact that they come out with it on the iPad makes it even more intriguing because that allows for more of a mobile gameplay for it. And I really like that fact. It makes me almost want to get an iPad. Uh, but yeah, so as far as that game goes, I like it. I have not touched League of Legends in ages. Uh, I get on my spurts with it, but that there's usually at least a six-month to a year lag in between my spurts of League of Legends. So I like it. it. Uh. Okay, yeah, that was cool. I was gonna wait till you finish talking. Actually, uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> I hear it done. Was, hey, it was perfect timing, actually. Well, but anyway, from what you've seen from me before, I mean, back when we were playing League almost every day, um, I've gotten a lot better now. Um, I'm I'm sticking to mid and ADC now. So you're um, almost as good as me, dude. I will smoke you in League Legends, man. I'll go raid boss Tarek on you. 
<laughs> Raid boss Tarek. I that will make you move fabulously. I love Tarek. I wish they had some good skins for him. Super. Ezreal, it's not good enough for him. Mm -mm. His, uh, his skins... I have to say that, if you guys look at Heroes of the Storm, when you guys get a chance to play it, oh, the, the skins they have for Heroes of the Storm are actually significant. I love League of Legends, but Riot, I swear, sometimes all they do is a palette swap, and then they say it's a new skin. It pisses me off. Well, Tarek is a prime example. Oh, he's God. Got the same, he's got the same armor. One's pink, one's Different blue, colors. and one's green. Yep. That's it. I mean, if you think about it, I do... The, the one thing I do like, though, you guys have seen League, I'm, I don't know if you have yet, Soldier, but the new rework skin for Twitch. I haven't seen it. I love it, dude, because you, know you know how before he was just like a, a big old fat rat, right? Yeah. Now he's not some big old fat rat waddling around. You can actually see his the his the, the body of you know him because you know how he was just this little uh, guy that was waddling around. Yeah. You know, and then shooting a it's he's actually got a crossbow and you actually can see the definition in the it's pretty nice, man. Sweet. It's yeah, it's about time he got a rework. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pink terror scares me. It does, Yogi. Your bald head scares me. What? Right. How does the bald head have to do so with Pink Derek? Hurtful. So hurtful. Wait, so hurtful? You're hurtful to me every day. Every time you say, hey, Obi, you're hurting my feelings in some way. So would you, rather, have would you rather me just call you, hey, dickhead? Hey, it would f feel more realistic. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> Next time, uh, next time I hop on, hey, dickhead, what's going on, Baldy? Hey, jackass. <laughs> <clears throat> hey, how are you? You want to play? It'll be fun. Okay. <laughs> My inner pedo is coming out. <sighs> I had to do it, sorry. I know, you timed it perfectly, too. It was, but yeah, it was, yeah, I'm reading what you wrote in there. I don't remember that movie anymore. I wish I, I'm gonna go watch Grumpy Old Man, Grumpy Old Men, just to quote some some lines. <laughs> because some of the things that those old men say, just the one-liners, is so funny. That's what makes the whole damn movie. It's those grumpy old guys, just their jackass. I'm not talking to him, jackass. You're a jackass, <laughs> jerk off, jackass. <sighs> You know, in speed type, we got a couple minutes left here, guys, in the show. We do want to give some plugs to everybody. That was a short free ball. Well, free ball some more. You're sitting there just typing away. Well, I, I don't know what's free. I don't free ball anymore, man. They just, I gotta, I gotta uh, keep his is all shoveled yeah. up and died, you know. He's back on tidy whiteies. You know what? You. Oh, I can't do tidy whiteies that much. Hey, ten weeks I've been out. I gotta catch up. Yeah, the only time we do tidy whiteies is if you're doing it's laundry day and your boxers or boxer briefs I are. I don't own tidy whiteies. Boxer briefs, dude. I can't even wear boxers. Yeah. I have to wear boxer briefs. I can't. I get. Jimmy and his fucking two friends need to stay in one spot. Okay. Yeah, this is such a thing as too much freedom. Oh my god, I got not paid a yes, Curse Voice. Right now I'm talking to Curse, right now. I've already signed up for the Curse Voice beta, and I just talked to somebody yesterday, and hopefully he's going to be sending me out uh, quite a few keys as well for those that play League of Legends. So then I will be able to give a couple away here on the show to those that are live in the chat, and I'll give a few to Yogi Zilla so he can give some away on his stream as well. We want to get that Curse Voice. We do, we do. What the hell's Curse Voice? It's, yeah. a, it's something from League of Legends. It's it's it's, it's basically a uh, like a, basically like a uh, a plugin like a Teamspeak plugin. Basically, it's a voice you can talk to your teammates. Oh, hey, that's what that, they that, have. That, that, so, Arma Two's got it. Yeah. So so basically, yeah, it's like Arma Two, you can sit there and go like in game and talk over net and everything. You can yep. do the same with this, which is I think it's gonna be great. I yeah. uh, one of my buddy has one of my buddies has it. And it, it, he, they are just, I mean, providing that the person on the other end has a really decent, like a decent mic, 
uh, it doesn't crackle all the time, but it's, it works really, really good. So, I was... Yeah. I, I think Deckard C has some uh, keys for us to give to the community, so stay tuned. We might have a few keys to give away or something. No uh, promises. Or... Wow. Are you, are you gonna sneeze? No, I want a key. <laughs> hey, no, this guy. <laughs> this guy. Is oh, serious. you want? <laughs> I so I also want to say it's part of the free ball. How much time we got left, Ob? Like five. We got like six minutes, don't we? Five minutes, like... exactly. Okay. So I, I also want to say my part of free ball. I want I want to see what you guys think about this. I think one of the dumbest things. If you are a renter, landlords, all right? Landlords are assholes, especially ones that charge pet fees or pet rents. Let me tell you why. Because if you have insurance, renter's insurance, that covers damages for anything that a pet might do, it should be a moot point, but they just want to take more money away from you. And then they have the balls to say that their property is pet friendly. It's not pet friendly if you're trying to rape people for that extra money. And on top of that, kids can do far more damage for freaking than, than 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 pets do. Why aren't they charging freaking kid kid fees? Seriously, that's it. All right, I guess you guys don't feel the same way. Moving on, I'll be alone on that rant. Wow, DBZ unit. He's got it out for you. Oh, this God. Session. <laughs> yeah. But, shameless plugs, Jog. Rock them out. Wait. The links? What? No. Raw, shameless plugs. Horse plays on all games. Dot com every Thursday around 5 p.m. Eastern Time. We wanted to open it up. We we wanted to open up for B team, but Cooler Kids are moving on in seven o'clock uh, p.m. So you guys check them out right after us, and then maybe next time we'll get into that slot. And then of course at nine o'clock is the B team podcast, and then right here at eleven o'clock on Ob One X Two, we'll be having horseplay. Horseplay is on Stitcher, TuneIn Radio, BlackBerry, Windows, Zune, and iTunes. So we want to make sure that you guys. It's everywhere, guys. You can get it anywhere. On your smartphones, your tablets, your iPads, everything. Leave us some reviews and some favorites. Subscribe on TalkShoe and iTunes and Stitcher, guys. We do love the feedback. We do love the support. Um, every time you guys are co going on to one of those... Uh, one of those... I don't know what the thing is. I'm trying websites. to think of. One of those... Websites, I guess. Happy to, Tree uh, Friends. To check us out and, and give us a, a, a review. Uh, it really does help. It really does help us out a lot. But make sure you guys listen out for all any kind of big promotions or giveaways via our community page, which is geekyantics.net, of course. And make sure that you guys leave us a voicemail at 206 1415 Four nine eight seven. Once again, two zero six four one five four nine eight seven. And you can leave us an email at geekyantics at gmail dot com. If they're good, we'll play them right here and read them right here live on horseplay. All royalty, royalty fee music. All the music that you guys have heard in the music in the beginning and at the end here was provided by Technoax on YouTube. That's Techno with a K. X. You guys can go check them out at technoax dot com as well. Highlights and videos and audio casts of Horseplay Uncut are available right here on Obi-Wan X2 and Yogizilla's channel. And, of course, Yogizilla's YouTube page as well. Yes, I'm sorry I deleted the last several episodes, but I didn't know I was supposed to save them permanently. So I do apologize, guys. We are going to get those uh, those highlights up, and we're going to have the, the, you know, the top five or six highlights of the last five or six weeks. So this is not going to be too packed. Check out all our friends right here, of course, when they come over here to Horseplay, and even at all games. Gaming, Gaming Death Podcast, 42 Level 1 Gaming History 101, the B-Team Podcast, R9 Cast, Knuckle Baller Radio Zombie Cast, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Cast, Sega Nerds, The Angry Chicken, 
Castuberous Doctor Who podcast, Orange Lounge Radio, and the party chat shows on allgames.com network, gang.net. I think I got through them, and I didn't tongue twist myself either, Yogi. You should be proud of me. We have a lot of great content over at the team, so you guys want to go to do GameGeekyAntics.net to give us some support. Leave us a comment. Leave us what you guys think. Even if it's a negative comment, leave it anyway, okay? Because we're gonna we'll, we will rebuttal that. We'll put some stuff out. We'll give some stuff back to you and make you make you guys think as well. If you guys do listen to us on all games, B Team is coming up next, ish, maybe. Actually, no, it's not. The, what was the name of that show, Yoke? Who was the 7 o'clock position? I forgot. Yogi? He is silent. The the, the 7 o'clock slot has been reserved for another show. Yeah, what's the name of the show again, though? It's unannounced. So it's us and then the B team, and it's something in between. Mm-hmm. It's going to be cream well, inside the Oreo cookie. Ooh. Well, if you guys are right here on all games, stay tuned for the next show. We will get the name of that so you guys can actually have a uh, little heads up of what's going on. Make sure that you guys, too, uh, be sure to tune in live at 9 p.m. Eastern. 9 p.m.? What the? You're killing me, bro. Yeah, for, for B Team. 7 p.m. B Team is at 9 p.m. Oh, it's, it's worded wrong. Be sure to tune in at 9 p.m. On allgames.com for B Team Podcast, and then right here on Obi One X Two at eleven. I think we got it. Yogi, coming up in the future episodes. What do we got coming up here? It's gonna be a secret. Gotta think we're out of time. It's a piece of piece of love and chicken grease. Soldier, you have any closing words? (laughs) Soldier, we gotta go, buddy. Dun 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 dun. Hopefully, I'll be on again later. That's all he's got. Oh, come on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm out of the flow. It's been 10 weeks, dude. That's true. From Obi Wan X2, Yogi Zilla, and Soldierism, and everybody here at Horseplay and allgames.com. We really appreciate you guys for watching. For those that are live, thanks a lot. For those that are listening, we'll see you guys next week. Peace. This is Horseplay. We out. Peace in the Middle East. It's not working, I guess. Yeah, sure. Anyway, see you later, guys. (laughs) Oh, man. And I'm cutting off the uncut. That sounds redundant. Hey guys. Redundorous. My, my, so, so my, this is the the extended cut. You want to say anything now? You have anything clever? Before I cut it off? I need you. I need you. Oh baby. Oh baby. Maybe hey, we just got a voicemail last minute. Well, we got a bunch of voicemails. <laughs> It's not, I don't know, the skate player is not working. It just cut out on me. <laughs> All right. Let me cut off the recording here. So, so you're going to hang out for a little bit? How, how long's a little bit? I don't know. What? Do you, how long do you consider a little bit? I'm still recording, by the way. You're on the record still. Hey, I'm, I'm down. You, you don't work tomorrow? I do work tomorrow, but I don't work till frickin' 3.30 in the afternoon. Well, you might get a little gaming going then. Because uh, some people in the chat want to do something. What are we doing? I don't know. I want to see. What games do we got that we play? I mean, I, I haven't played any... What games I have I played lately? Mountain Blade, but that's a single-player game. Or at least what I play of it. 
<laughs> well, we can probably do some league, play some A-Ram just to goof around. <laughs> I don't have league installed anymore, dude. Really? Dude, I haven't played it in ages, and I needed some RAM. I needed some uh, hard drive space. You must have some fatty games if you're deleting League of Legends. Well, let me put it this way. I had, like, almost every single game on my Steam list downloaded. Hey, I only have, like, barely anything left. Besides that, I have been doing some recording. I just haven't been doing any editing, so that's been backing up a lot. <laughs> Ask me wow. about my wiener. <laughs> wow. I'm still recording, by the way. Wow. Wow. So what, is your Twitch still going then? Yeah, the, un the uncut, the extended cut. Uncut. I, 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 uh, I just upload it straight to YouTube as is. For the behind the scenes. Can you shine your head on stream? Hey, we ought to do that. Oh, it's too late for that. Well, maybe uh, I, no, I, I mean, like, I mean, uh, for, you know, like how every year, you know, Twitchers and YouTubers do like a... A charity thing, and you get they get so much money donated. Yeah, we'll cut your beard. Uh, you're not cutting. Not, no, nobody's touching my beard. I'll braid my beard, but I will not cut my beard. I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't cut it if I got it that far either. No, I'm leaving it. It's starting. <laughs> That's it, like six months worth of growth for me. <laughs> <laughs> you guys seen it last year? Come on. <clears throat> how, how I think this thing's about two months of growth. Maybe. I don't remember. <laughs> Alright, let me yeah, cut are, let me cut off the video now because we're gonna be out for a while. It's gonna be end up being a long video. Thanks for tuning in guys. And don't forget to check Bye. us out uh allgames.com geekyantics.net. We're we're all over the interwebs, iTunes, Stitcher, to Zoom, all that good stuff. U porn, spankwire, all that goodness. I wish. We'd be making some real money then. Woohoo! <laughs> That's where that money's really at. Yeah. <laughs> Later, guys. Do a video of you masturbating to porn. dollars. Yay! <laughs> That's a great way to end it. Masturbating I, I'd make, to porn. I make like five hundred dollars a day.